is it? Check, 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 check. My check, my check, 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 check. My check, my check, 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 check. Oh, check, 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 check. My check, my check, my check, 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 my check, my check, 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 check. My check, my check, 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 check. My check, my check. Check, 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 my check, my check, 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 my check, my check, my check, 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 check.
fans, please welcome to the Swag Championship the three of you in the University of Washington School. Football live in thirty seconds. Second mark, thirty second mark. Twenty second mark. Fifteen. Live in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Jackson State is playing in the SWAC championship game. The Tigers punched their ticket to the title game by going undefeated in the East, which earned head coach Deion Sanders, also known as Coach Prime, the SWAC Coach of the Year. 
JSU is riding an eight-game winning streak and will host a Prairie View team that has struggled down the stretch, having lost three in a row coming into this game. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report. I'm Rob J. In just a moment, I'll be joined by former JSU quarterback and assistant coach Daryl Asbury, our booth announcer Sam Brown, and our sideline reporters Jamie Horton and Daryl Neely as we bring you the play-by-play -play story of today's SWAC championship game between 10-1 Jackson State and 7-4 Prairie View. Today's game marks the first meeting of the season between the Tigers and the Panthers and Jackson State head coach Deion Sanders returned from his nearly month-long hiatus from foot surgery to talk about today's game. All right, welcome back to the JSU pregame report, Coach. First of all, I gotta say, I missed you. I'm glad you're okay. You too, man. It was. It, it's good to be back. You know, and and I learned a lot about you. I already know you. You you definitely a Hall of Famer, but to hear you do what you do, I had never heard you do what you do. That's my first time hearing you do what you do. So when I'm when I was in the hospital, I got a chance to check the broadcast, and you were excellent, man. And it, it, it prompted me to call you and let you know that you you were excellent, and I appreciate that. Well, Coach, that, that really meant a lot to me because I hadn't ever heard anybody say that. You know, everybody complained, like Dennis, Ed, Diamond, Wilton. They always complain. So I appreciate that. Yeah, you were excellent, man. But I, I want to let you know that my wife and I, we, we pray for you constantly. Thank you. Yes, sir. We did. we did. We did. I truly needed it because it's been tough. Yes, sir. You okay now? I'm getting there. No pain. I, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, well, I also want to congratulate you on the season that you have, this team has had, that I mean, had. that we've had. Yeah, all I of mean, us, all of us. this me. it's been remarkable. We had not seen this in a long You know, it's so funny that as a coach, you, you reflect. Sometimes you look back. I, I oftentimes look ahead because I can't run with my optimism speed when I'm looking back. That's, that was good what I just said. Make sure you rewind that and listen to it, young fella. <laughs> But I still think about the one loss, man, and it bothers me because I'm like, what could we have done? We would have been undefeated record if we would have just got that one. Why couldn't we move the ball? Like, I, I think about that, and that haunts me, and I should just let it go and move on because of I'm so proud of these young men. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of the staff. I'm so proud of the support staff and everybody, how they've come together and done what, what – what we set out to do. I mean, you've seen us practicing from day one, and you're like, dang it, no one knew. Mm -hmm. They thought I was playing when I said, all right, mm -hmm. wait to the fall. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got me now. Uh -huh. Wait to the fall. Uh -huh. And uh, I tried to tell somebody that too. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about not only today, because I know what tomorrow's going to bring. The recruits that we're on right now, when we get them, not if, mm -hmm. when we get them, it's going to take this program to yet another level. We're good now. Mm -hmm. We have an opportunity to be great when we land these recruits. Mm -hmm. Well, Coach, in all of your accomplishments, you've accomplished a lot of things. What is you being named Coach of the Year in your first year as a head coach? What does that rank? Does that rank high? With that, 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 you know what that makes me feel like? I put together a heck of a staff. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what, when I hear those words, I call it Cody. I don't call it Coach. It's sexy when you say Cody. Like Cody, like, like when they when they call me Cody, that's what everybody call me around here. They don't call me Coach Brown anymore. They call me. Call they, me Cody. they let the wrong one be Cody. Yeah, they, ooh, you let them. You should have never let me be Cody. But it it allows me to understand um, the people, and you got to look around you. This is this is life lesson. You you're not going any farther than what you have around you, and having these men around me has been phenomenal because when when uh, God gave me that time out that, I'm, that, I, that I've taken, those guys stepped up and they balled and they did what they had to do and we was in constant communication and they ran this program just like I would run it, just like I was there and I'm thankful for it, especially Coach Flea. Well, Coach, I'm not going to take up much of your time. I know you have things to do and I know, you know, you, you're getting back together. I, I did bring you some. Dog. I like What's different about you, man? Uh, Is it a haircut? Like, you look different. I think so. Time. No, but he usually wear like a, a button down, but I see you in a sweater right now. You look, you look, no, you look good. Yeah, see, sweater see, look see, good. see, it's jig. It's, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> but you look, I thought, you look I thought maybe when you come out, you would stop the jig. You look younger for a reason. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the blue. It's the blue. No, no it's, it's not. Quick, too. No. Damn hell. What's your face? Just, like, <laughs> but, but, Coach, <laughs> I have something for you. I got something for you. 
this all, is all your gifts have been like tremendous. They've been tremendous. Yes. Did you now while you in your house? Did you read the Bible that I gave you? No, I didn't read that Bible. But I read a Bible. Did you Bible. did you watch Dolomite what I gave you? No, because you know ain't nobody got BCRs no more. Okay, all right. Okay, but I got I have something for you, Coach. When you get back on your foot, mm-hmm. I got I didn't I haven't put it. Like this is something to exercise with. Right there, to, you know to what, make dog? your foot a little stronger. You know what, dog? That's a foot massage. I know. I see, yeah, dog. Look at that, coach. I, the, God, coach. I that is it. awesome. Like that's thoughtful. See, yeah. All your gifts are thoughtful. The Dolomite <laughs> DVD that ain't nobody got no DVD player no more. All that, the socks that that, that that was just right by the counter on the checkout when you came out of uh, Win Dixie. Like all that stuff that you got me. I mean, the shirt that was too big. That, like all that stuff that you got me, dog. I mean, the hat that was too big, you know, from the you know, well, that. All that stuff has been unbelievable. Like, your gifts, this may be the best one from all. That was JSU head football coach Deion Sanders, also known as Coach Prime. When our countdown to kickoff continues, a conversation with Prairie View head coach Eric Dooley. You're listening to the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report on the Tigers Sports Network. just want to know the facts about the COVID-19 vaccine and get life back to normal as soon as possible. But where can you go for the facts on the vaccine? Just visit aarp.org slash msvaccine to learn who's eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Mississippi, when, where, and how to get it, and what you might want to discuss with your doctor. That's aarp.org slash msvaccine for the latest information and the facts you need. Paid for by AARP. Importance of health. Blue Health. The experience of what it means to be healthy. Because taking care today leads to an even healthier tomorrow. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be healthy. It's good to be blue. When your neighbor's dog barks at 2 a.m., it sounds like this. When your C Spire phone barks, it sounds like this. That's an alert from the Bark Parental Control app. It can help manage your child's screen time, filter websites, and keep track of location check-ins, all while respecting their privacy. And because your child's safety matters, it's free from C Spire. Learn more at cspire.com slash bark. Bark Parental Controls, free from C Spire. Make your home merrier this Christmas. Miskelly's has thousands of products in stock and ready for you. Plus, with no money down financing and savings up to $300, we're furnishing happiness for the holidays. A new bedroom, a roomier dining set, or more seating in the family room. There's plenty to choose from on our website or in our showrooms. Then pick it up or have it delivered, and your furniture will arrive before Santa. Make this Christmas your merriest at Ms. Kelly's. to the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report. It has been 12 years since Prairie View has won the SWAC title, but the Panthers believe they have the team to break that streak. Head coach Eric Dooley is in his fourth season at PBU, and he has restored the Panthers back to that winning tradition, which started way back in 1952. PB comes into today's game on a three-game losing streak, and Coach Dooley talked about his team facing JSU in today's title game. Uh, actually, uh, happy and excited to be uh, playing in this um SWAC championship game, uh, we know it's going to um, be a challenge for us. Uh, I think it's two good football teams that are going to line down on Saturday. Uh, uh, of course, my team will be uh, ready to play. Uh, this is uh, Prairie View, uh, first time being in uh, SWAC championship since 2009, so I know that the uh, Panther Nation are excited and our team will be ready to play. A pair of defensive players have led the Panthers this season, and Coach Dooley talked about what it means to have Danny Garza and Jason Dumas on his team. You know, they, they've they been a mainstay, especially Danny Garza. He's been around for five years. Uh, he was here when I got here, but he was a guy that uh, worked hard. Uh, worked hard in the classroom as well as on the football field. And, the, uh, the, you know, the fruit of his labor is showing right now. Uh, it means a whole lot. And when you talk about a Jason Dumas, you're talking about the rock of the defense. 
a guy that's going to play hard uh, every play, uh, a guy that's not big in stature, but uh, bring a lot to the table. So those two young men have done a great deal uh, for this program. PBU comes into this game after losing to Mississippi Valley, and Coach Dooley says his team has to put that game behind them and focus on Jackson State. Well, you know, that was a, a, a bump in the road right there, but uh, I, I know that my football team would be ready to go. Uh, if you got to get someone ready to play in a, a swag championship game, then I don't think you have the right football team that's playing. So it's not going to be much that we have to do. Uh, our team will come and be ready to uh, go to work today. There's no question about it. Uh, and we understand that, so uh, we'll be ready to go Saturday. Panthers quarterback Jawan Pass is one of the league's best passers, and Coach Dooley says he is expecting a big game out of his big quarterback. Uh, it's extremely important. You're talking about the quarterback. Uh, so where he goes, we go. Uh, but uh, he'll be ready to go. Uh, I think the things that he's doing uh, is going to help us to uh, to be successful in what we're trying to accomplish. So uh, his play is extremely important. And uh, uh, no question, you're going to hear me say it repeatedly, uh, he'll be ready to play. Prairie View has a long history of winning and losing, including having the longest losing streak in 1AA history when the Panthers lost 80 straight games between 1989 and 1998. Coach Dooley talked about what winning the SWAC title would mean to his university. I don't think words can describe that. Uh, you just uh, it, It's going to be huge for uh, Prairie View and University. It's going to be huge for uh, this football team. It's going to be huge for a lot of uh, for Dr. Simmons, uh, for her to uh, have an opportunity to be put in this situation. So, I, I mean, it, it's uh, words would never describe it, uh, but, you know, of course, you got to play the game, and uh, that's what we're going to prepare ourselves to do. Uh, well, you, you, you're talking about Southwestern Athletic SWAC football. <laughs> that's what it's all about. That's what this conference brings. That's what I, I'm, I'm accustomed to. That's what I'm used to. So uh, I think it's going to be very, very exciting uh, uh, and, and understanding that it's going to be a great contest, no question about it. The Panthers have been contenders for the SWAC West title for the past few years, and Coach Dooley talked about when he knew his team was among the best in the SWAC. Oh, yeah, it's no question about it. Uh, 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 we are going to West uh, represent the Western Division, but uh, it's going to be a challenging contest for us. We do understand that. Uh, I've been saying all the while, and you guys have been here all the while, uh, that the SWAC is very, very competitive. Uh, it's something that I, I, I definitely love to see. I've been a part of this conference for a long time, and to see where we are right now, I, I think is, uh, you know, to give guys like uh, Eddie Robinson uh, to smile, uh, to look down on us. Guys like Marino Chasm can smile. Guys now like uh, Markham to smile. So, you know, WC Garden, you know, guys that's just been around. And I, I'll be remiss if I didn't name Pete Richardson. You know, this is what this conference is built on. So uh, it's going to mean a lot. It's going to be great. Great deal. I, I You know, I, I think uh, I commend uh, our commissioner. Coach uh, McClin uh, Mr. McClendon, uh, what he's done, uh, putting us in that spotlight, giving us that opportunity to showcase what we have at our different universities. So uh, I think it's huge for uh, HBCUs to get this opportunity. And we got to seize the moment. We got to make sure we take care of the opportunity. The Panthers have been contenders for the SWAC West title for the past few years. And Coach Dooley talked about when he knew his team was among the best in the league. Uh, you know, I, I and, and not in a bad way, but I, I said it all along that I feel that this team, team here had a uh, championship written on it, uh, the ha opportunity, because I knew what I was bringing back. I uh, was bringing a veteran ball club back, and I felt real good about what we were, uh, how we would line up. Uh, we just had to play the season, and uh, fortunate enough, the guys played the season, and, and it worked out good for us. So uh, I, I knew it all along and uh, just had to just go through the season, and, and fortunate we're here now. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I took the uh, the mindset of you have to build inside out. And what I meant by that, you have to take care of the trenches. You know, uh, when I, I looked at some of the models of the programs that was winning championships, you got to have a, a good offensive line. And you got to have a good uh, a dominating uh, defensive line. So I, I tried to build from within. Uh, and then you just got to go get those guys that can make plays on the outside as well. So uh, this is the mindset that I uh, not finished yet. I still think is a a lot of pieces of this puzzle that I need to put together, but uh, I, I, I do know that it's headed in the right direction. That was Prairie View head football coach Eric Dooley. When we come back, our weekly conversation with Jackson State President Thomas Hudson. This is the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report on the Tigers Sports Network. 
The Prevent defense is something we all hate. But when it comes to your kids' teeth, Mississippi Smiles think prevention is the best defense. 51 million school days are missed each year in the U.S. because of dental issues. And yet, a report by the Mississippi State Department of Health estimated almost 30% of Mississippi kids have not been to the dentist in over a year. The good news is most kids' dental issues are preventable with proper oral hygiene and regular trips to the dentist. Schedule an appointment today at MississippiSmilesDentistry.com. All work performed by Mississippi Licensed General Dentists. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way. To be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. JSU welcomes Porter's Insurance as a proud sponsor of JSU Athletics. For all of your insurance needs, turn to a friend indeed. Porter's Insurance, located at 1020 University Boulevard, formerly known as Terry Road, offers protection coverage for all of your needs. Porter's has affordable comprehensive coverage for your home, car, life, health, and accident and commercial business needs. Learn more about Porter's Insurance at portersinsurance.com. Porter's Insurance and JSU, partners in our community. Hi, this is Attorney Richard Schwartz. Me and my entire staff are dedicated to helping our Mississippi neighbors get the most money they deserve after a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck. You know the insurance company is not on your side. That's why it's important to get your attorney working for you right away. It's always free to talk to us, so the only thing you got to remember is one call, that's all. Call me, Richard Schwartz, at 601-988-8888 or visit us online at onecall.ms. Swag Championship game. Uh, since they went to this new format, we expect a great crowd here today, and we look forward to bringing home this victory. And before we get uh, uh, back into football, I want to just talk a little bit about things going on around the campus, some very exciting news around the campus here at Jackson State. Uh, JSU is featured in a Pepsi ad spotlighting HBCU bands and culture, and Jackson State Sonic Boom is one of the – uh, bands in that uh, commercial along with FAMU. What's your thoughts on that? Well, it's a great thing. You know, we uh, everyone knows the Sonic Boom is probably the biggest brand name amongst uh, bands, not just in HBCU, but uh, overall in the college landscape. So it's only fitting that Jackson State University, along with FAMU, would be featured in this commercial. Pepsi put a lot into this commercial, uh, over $3 million from my understanding in the marketing and just the overall production of it. And we're very, very happy about how it turned out. Does this help with recruiting when, when – uh, commercials like this is, is shown is going to be shown nationwide. Absolutely, absolutely. It it really shines a spotlight on Jackson State University and, and just shows you know the culture we have here, the great campus culture, and, and really helps puts us in on national scale. We're talking with Jackson State President Thomas Hudson and our uh, countdown to kick off. And uh, President Hudson, talk a little bit about Jackson State business students advancing to the national. I hope I pronounce this right, Deloitte fantastic tax case competition yes uh under the uh leadership of dr sharon simmons in the college of business uh you know uh several of our college business students cameron Gaines, jayla minor jessica tate and ashante campbell uh they beat competed virtually uh from with nearly 200 other students and they advanced uh to those regional finals so very proud of them. We always want to highlight all of our students uh, as much as we can, and we're very excited about what they're doing. And other uh, news around campus, uh, Jackson State's College of Business launches its Women's Business Center, and uh, their grand opening is set for January. Talk a little bit about it. Yes, it's set for January, but it's already getting coverage. And I was talking to one of our alums in Shreveport, and they talked about uh, seeing it on the news there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just very exciting. Again, just great things happening at Jackson State University. Uh, It'll be located in the College of Business. As you say, it launches in January. It's a federally funded program. Uh, We're one of a very few number of institutions that did receive funding for a women's business center. And and the goals here are, again, to really help um, with respect to helping women start small business, uh, increasing the overall number of women-owned businesses, and Jackson State really being a true part of that effort. And in other news, uh, President Hudson, Jackson State receives a $1 million gift to name the atrium after uh, JSU alumnus 
Brigadier General Robert Creer. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, you, you did. You, you pronounced it right. And uh, again, we're very proud of General Creer, a uh, very active JSU alumnus. Um, you know, not only a uh, member of our development foundation, he's been the commencement speaker. He's constantly coming back to the school to mentor our students. Uh, and this gift is just indicative of the great work that he's done and the respect he has throughout the community. Uh, we're certainly excited that John now saw fit to. Uh, provide this gift so that we could name the CSET uh, atrium after uh, Brigadier General Robert Creer. So we're very excited. You heard the response, the great response from the crowd when we announced it at the Alcorn game. And uh, our alumni are very happy about this. So we hope that this spurs more giving. We hope that this encourages others to really use their position to help benefit the university. Absolutely. And uh, again, uh, before we let you go, I want to talk a little bit about sports and Jackson State here in the championship game. I know last week when we talked, uh, Shadua was up for the Connolly Trophy, which went to Oh, Miss Player, we kind of talked about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, not not surprising. Look, Matt Coral uh, did a great. He's up for the Heisman as well, so uh, I guess I can let it pass uh, with that. But I, I will say this: that um, you know, he was Swag Freshman of the Year. We're excited about that. But clearly the best player in the conference. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the thinking was behind the vote, but I don't see how Shadur could not have been the SWAC player of the year. I understand the freshman of the year, uh, well-deserved honor. Uh, James Houston, SWAC newcomer of the year, again, well-deserved honor. How he was not the SWAC defensive player of the year, again, is beyond me. Uh, so we're proud of all our student athletes, Antoine Odom, Aubrey Miller, Isaiah, uh, who made the first team and our second team members, Keith Corbin, Tony Gray, Keontae Hampton and Shiloh Sanders. Great job for all of these uh, gentlemen, but um, you know I'm a little biased, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit biased. Uh, it, it, it was we were clearly underserved. I'll, I'll use that language. We were clearly underserved by those selections, not only with the players of the year, but also just the overall representation. Uh, we just had a wonderful year. We dominated the SWAC, and uh, I don't think that's reflective in the voting, but. Again, I don't have a vote, so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, like Coach Prime said, maybe they'll take that anger out on this game against Prairie View today. Let's hope so. Let's hope so, right? Let's let's hope. Look, we took it out on a few teams already, so let's hope we use this as motivation. Prairie View is going to come in very tough. You know, I know they lost last week, but I'm not really, you know, I'm telling everyone, hey, we have to get through this game. We have to get through this game. We have to be on our at our best. And I know Coach Prime is going to have those kids ready and motivated to win this game. All right, President Hudson, again, thank you so much for your time. Anything else you'd like to add? No, thank you. Uh, this is, look, we've been doing this. I think this may be good luck, so we're going to keep doing this as long <laughs> as we're winning. So thanks again for having me on. Absolutely. It. And thank you so much for your time. You're right. We haven't lost since you've been doing it. All right. <laughs> All right. Again, that's Jackson State President Thomas Hudson. When our countdown to kickoff continues, we'll take a look around HBCU football with Donald Ware and the Box to Roll Blitz. This is the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report on the Tiger Sports Network. Up to Wendy's and get a bacon or sausage egg and Swiss breakfast croissant for just $1.99. Made with fresh cracked eggs and served on a hot buttery croissant that's fluffy enough to sleep on. Uh-uh! It's time to wakey wakey. Hit the Wendy's drive through and get your bacon or sausage egg and Swiss breakfast croissant for just $1.99. That's a better breakfast for just $1.99. Only at Wendy's. We got you. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Third-party delivery prices may vary. Not valid in the combo. What makes Zaxby's new Grade 8 Boneless Wings Meal so great? They can't wait for our own plate. Or your best mate is a cheapskate. Maybe you're just really hungry. Whatever the reason, Zaxby's Grade 8 Boneless Wings Meal is pretty... Well, you get the picture. Enjoy eight boneless wings with your choice of sauce, fries, Texas toast, and a drink for just $7.99. Only at Zaxby's. Available at participating locations. Price is not valid for delivery. At Penn Street Investments, they pursue their investment goals with sound financial strategies. You deserve a personal tailored plan. Lasting, meaningful relationships are the foundation of the practice. You worked hard for your money and should feel confident with your investment choices as you make decisions for your financial future. Investments and insurance products are not insured by the FDIC or any federal government agency and not a deposit or other obligation of or guaranteed by the bank affiliate and is subject to investment risk, including loss of principal amount invested. Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Network, LLC, member SIPC, is a separate registered broker, dealer, and non-bank affiliate of Wells Fargo. Bev at PennStreetInvestment.com, 769-300-4949. 
Hey, this is Don Duncan here at Ruben Tire Center. It's fall. That means football, road trips, and good times. Don't let it flat ruin your day. Hop on in if you need a new tire or a tire repair. If your budget's a little tight, we have a large selection of high tread takeoff tires at a fraction of the price of new. The Riverbend Rabbit has a tire for every budget and every vehicle. Remember, we offer 90 days same as cash and no credit check finance. Two locations in Jackson and one in Flowood. Welcome back to the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report. Time now for a look around HBCU football with Don O'Ware and the Box to Row Blitz. This is your weekly edition of the Box to Row Blitz. I'm Donald Ware. First, I want to take you to Montgomery, Alabama for the Turkey Day Classic between Alabama State and Tuskegee with Alabama State already leading 7 to nothing late in the first quarter. The Hornets were looking for more. Owens dropping back, looking to his left. Merrick he should have open. Merrick, and he does. Touchdown for Alabama State to add to their lead. Ja'Cory Merritt from Joe Owens for five yards in for the pay dirt score. The extra point was good, and the Hornets led 14 to nothing. Now we're going to move to early in the third quarter with Tuskegee trailing 20 to 2. Ooh, play action. Looking left. Man, wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Goodness gracious. And this should be a touchdown barring a tackle. No. Tigers get six on broken coverage. Bryson Williams to Trevian O'Neal for 43 yards, and the Golden Tigers cut their deficit to 20 to nine. Now I'm gonna take you to early in the fourth quarter. Same score, Alabama State with possession. McMahon, plenty of space. He might have a lane here at the 10 yard line. McMahon, he's gonna get in. Hit the turn, touchdown. Jaquan Lee and Daryl Gatrich on the Hornet Sports. Radio Network, Robert McMinn's 37-yard touchdown run put a stamp on things as the Hornets went on to route Tuskegee 43-9. to Now hear this. Eddie Robinson Jr. was introduced as the new head football coach at Alabama State on last Friday. Now to Bowie, Maryland, where the Bowie State Bulldogs were hosting a second-round Division II playoff game against Newberry. We're going to go all the way to late in the fourth quarter with the Bulldogs driving and trailing 10-7. Johnson back to pass, throws to the corner of the end zone, got a man, it's caught! Kashane Hinkley again, touchdown Bulldogs! They're on their feet here at Bulldog Stadium as Bowie State, three plays and 58 yards to take the lead with 133 to go. That was Evan Johnson on the call. The Bulldogs would hold on to defeat Newberry 13 to 10. Bowie State now will travel to Valdosta, Georgia to take on Valdosta State on Saturday in the quarterfinals of the Division II playoffs. Now to New Orleans for the Bayou Classic matchup between Southern and Grambling with the Grambling Tigers leading 10 to 7 Southern driving late in the first quarter. Here is the run on first down and this is going to be in for six for Southern University and on the run is going to be Devon Ben. The Jaguars led 10 to 7. Now we're going to move all the way to the fourth quarter where most of the fireworks happened in this ball game and with six and a half remaining and the Jaguars having the 20 to 19 lead. Walker with the pass, looking deep, trying to find a man open. It's caught. Touchdown, Grambling State University. Greg White from 23 yards, and the Tigers had the 26 to 20 lead on the ensuing possession. The Jaguars would answer. Skelton is going to run it. I mean, there was no question that he was going to run it. Touchdown, Southern University. The extra point was missed, and we were tied at 26. We're going to stay in the fourth quarter with. The game tied at 26 apiece, and the Tigers putting together a nice drive. Garrett Urban on for a field goal. 25-yard kick to take the lead. The kick is up, and it is good! It's good! Garrett Urban, and they take the lead 29-26 with two seconds remaining in the game. 
my man Santoria Black on the Grambling Sports Radio Network. Grambling defeats Southern in the Bayou Classic 29 to 26. Got a big time football game on Saturday in Jackson, Mississippi. It's the SWAC Championship game as Jackson State's going to play Prairie View A&M. The winner will play against South Carolina State in the Celebration Bowl in Atlanta on December 18th. From the Press Box to Press Row, the radio show airs weekly on radio stations across the country and on ESPNU Radio on Sirius XM Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, and on Saturdays, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, on Sirius XM Channel 142. To listen to the show or for more information, log on to BoxToRow.com. That was Donald Ware and the Box to Row Blitz. When our countdown to kickoff continues, we'll go live to Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium for the starting lineups and much, much more. This is the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report on the Tigers Sports Network. And welcome back to the Blue Cross Blue Shield JSU pregame report. We are moments away from kickoff of the SWAC championship game again between Jackson State and Prairie View. Rob J, Daryl Asbury, Sam Brown, and Jamie Horton bringing you the play-by-play story on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Temperature right now in Jackson is 73 degrees. There is a mixture of clouds and sun in the forecast today. Our high is expected to be in the middle 70s. The time and temperature, of course, brought to you by Porter's Insurance, located 1020 University Boulevard here in Jackson. Their number 601-355-8471. And Coach, uh, on this beautiful day, a nice crowd here uh, as we are assembled under these cumulus clouds. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and see, and, you know, I know you're going to laugh at me, Coach, <laughs> when I talk about the cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds. Yeah, these, I, the cumulus clouds. I see you. These, these, I'm Google see what they're they're, these are the clouds which have flat bases and are often described as puffy, cotton-like, or fluffy in appearance. Okay. Uh, the, the, the you're cumulus. a scientist, huh? I, <laughs> Coach. Great day, though, Coach. Great day. Yes, sir. Coach, uh, the, the last time we played Prairie View, uh, we won that game down in PBU. I know it was a, a yeah. lot that happened in that game. We won it in overtime. But this is the first time we've been in the SWAC championship game since 2013. This is the first time PBU has been in the SWAC championship game since 2009. What are your expectations? Well, I expect I expect to see two good football teams match up uh, really well, Coach. Both teams are hungry for a championship they have not experienced in a long time. 
So I expect a, a full game for 60 minutes. Beautiful day for a football game, Coach. And uh, PBU coming into this game having lost three in a row. Will that play a part in this game, you think? Well, Coach, it, it all depends on how they recovered from Mississippi Valley, Coach. <laughs> Coach Dancy, I watched that, a little bit of that game, um, but Coach Dancy and his program really got after PV. Yeah, absolutely. Well, these two teams coming in this game going in opposite directions. Again, we said PBU losing three in a row, Jackson State having won eight in a row. But in the SWAC championship game, JSU is only one and three in the SWAC championship game. Uh, the, they opened it actually when it first started in 1999. JSU played yeah. Southern. You were in that game. Yeah, I was. I was um, actually the receiver coach. I think it was. Yeah. And uh, it was an exciting game. Yeah. In a packed house, coach. But you know, it, it's time for Jackson State to get back to what it used to be. Um, coach Prime and his staff have done a phenomenal job, coach, and uh, very, very pleased as an alumnus of the university to see what's going on here. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I know you were listening to the pregame show, and you were uh, just, um, you know, just giggling at the, the gift I got, Coach Prime. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Yeah, you were just giggling and giggling. And you, was you all down the hall. Guess what he gave, Coach Prime? <laughs> he gave him a present. Yeah, but, you bought him a foot, a, a feet massage, well, what you call it. Well, you know, not foot, but a feet. Yeah, your feet. <laughs> but you know, he's he's been he's been he's dealt with some serious yeah, issues, man. Coach, yes. Yeah, he's yes. dealt with some serious. I know we, we joked about it at first, but yeah. he's dealt with some serious issues, and I'm really glad he's okay, man. He's but I'm, I'm glad to see him up moving in good spirits, Coach. You know, I follow him on social media, and you can tell he, his spirits are getting better and better mm -hmm. uh, day in and day out. Um, he's a fighter. Yeah, and absolutely. He, and he'll, he'll get back to where he, where he used to be, Coach. Absolutely. Jackson State 8-0 and in conference play this season, 10-1 and overall. Again, we say JSU has won eight in a row. PBU 6-2 and on the year, 7-4 and overall. They come into this game losers of three in a row, and that loss to Mississippi Valley, I know that certainly had to hurt PBU. So let's take a look at the starting defense now for Jackson State. At left defensive end is Niles Gaddy, he's a 6'4", 230-pound sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee. He transferred from the University of Tennessee. Niles wears number 57 for Jackson State. Your left defensive tackle is Antoine Owens, a 6'4", 290-pound senior from Tallahassee, Florida, transferred from Georgia Tech. Antoine wears number 99 for the Tigers. The right defensive tackle is Coinless Miller, a 6'2", 300-pound junior from Birmingham, Alabama, transferred from Auburn, wearing number 94. Your right defensive end is James Houston. He's a good one. He was named the SWAC Newcomer of the Year. He's a 6'1", 225-pound senior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, transferred from the University of Florida, wearing number 41. Your linebacker is Keontae Hampton, who made the all-SWAC second team. He's a 6'2", 220-pound senior from West Point, Mississippi, wearing number 40. Aubrey Miller, who made the SWAC first team. He's a 6'2", 225-pound senior from Memphis, Tennessee, transferred from Missouri. Aubrey wears number 45 for Jackson State. In the secondary for JSU is Dewan uh, Dejan Warren. Dejan Warren, a 6'1", 185-pound junior from Landover, Maryland, wearing number four. Cameron Silman, uh, he's been quiet these last few games. He's a 5'10", 175-pound freshman from Birmingham, wearing number 12. Also in the backfield, Shiloh Sanders, who has three interceptions coming into this ball game. He made the All-Swack second team. He's a 6'5", 195-pound sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas, transferred from South Carolina. He wears number 21. And rounding out the secondary, C.J. Holmes, a 6'1", 185-pound senior from New Orleans, Louisiana, wearing number three. And Kebrick Wiggins, a 5'11", 175-pound freshman from Spring, Texas, transferred from the University of Louisiana Monroe, wearing number 26. And when you look at that defense, Coach, which is the best defense coming into this game, I mean, you know, the, the, the secondary really doesn't have much to do because – uh, that that, yeah. that front is always <laughs> front, causing havoc. Coach, that front seven is <laughs> tremendous, Coach, when he led by Antoine Owens in the middle. I mean, he had five tackles last week. Um, Aubrey Miller, six tackles. James Houston, another five. But when you have that defensive line making so many tackles before they get to the linebackers, that's showing you the type of defensive front and front seven that Jackson State really has. All right, let's look at the Jackson State starting offense. We'll start at left tackle. You have Tony Gray, a 6'5", 310-pound junior from Loganville, Georgia. He wears number 74, your left tackle for Jackson State. I'm sorry, your left guard, rather, is Dimitri Jordan, a 6'5", 330-pound senior from Lubbock, Texas, wearing number 72. 
Your center is Caleb Graham, a 6'3", 290-pound freshman from Jackson. Whereas number 50, the right guard is Vincent Sampson, a 6'1", 285-pound senior from Cloudyerville, Louisiana, wearing number 62. At right tackle for Jackson State, Cedric Dunbar, a 6'1", 320-pound junior from Natchez, Mississippi, wearing number 51. At tight end is Kylan Ritchie, a 6'4", 230-pound senior from Cedar Hill, Texas. He wears number 85. Uh, he has been seldom used this season. Your running back for Jackson State in the starting lineup is Sante Marshall. He leads the team in rushing. He's a 5'10", 170-pound junior from New Orleans, wearing number 38. The receivers for JSU, Trevante Rucker, who splits time with um, Malachi Williams. So Trevante is a six foot, 170 pound freshman from Ocala, Florida. Trevante wears number 15. Also in the starting lineup for Jackson State at wide receiver is Keith Corbin. He's a 6'2", 200 pound senior from Beaumont, Texas, transferred from the University of Houston. He leads the team in receiving yards. He wears number seven. And your quarterback is Shadour Sanders, a 6'2", 215-pound freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas. He wears number two. He was named SWAC Freshman of the Year, and Coach Prime didn't like that at all because he felt like Shadour should have been on that first team, Coach. Yeah, and that's what I was – you took the words right out of my mouth, Coach. He's, you know, he's my SWAC Freshman of the Year. He's my SWAC First Team Player of the Year and, and projected the All-American, Coach. So this young man has put up tremendous numbers, and I feel that let it rip Sanders – should have been number one in every category, Coach. Well, I've been saying that from day one. You have. When we were in Miami, Florida. You have, Coach. Because I could just see that this guy is special. And you're absolutely correct. Yeah, and, and, and I'll your observation, <laughs> and they wonder why I call you Coach. Yeah, Coach. Well, see, that's a coach <laughs> o- coaching observation. Well, I've been looking at the swag for a long time, Coach. Yeah, Coach. And I'll tell you, the one who he reminds me of a lot is Steve McNair, not, not the running part. But the fact that he makes good decisions and he has a strong yeah, arm, he does, coach. And, and you know, you know, I, 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 again, I think he should have achieved all those goals. But he's somewhere where those that are on the first team are not. He's in the SWAC championship game, coach. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'd rather see him here, yes, sir, than than, than at home. In the words of Charles Barkley, gone fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson State is coached by Deion Sanders, also known as Coach Prime. He has led JSU to a 10 and 1 record. He was named the SWAC Coach of the Year. He said, just call him Cody. Your Director <laughs> of Player Personnel, Otis Ridley. Your Offensive Coordinator is T.C. Taylor. Defensive Coordinator, Dennis Thurman. Your Quarterbacks Coach, Michael Pollock. Over the receivers is Jason Phillips. Your Running Backs Coach, Gary Harrell, who also served as Interim Head Coach. He did a fine job. When he came in to uh, uh, came in for Coach uh, Prime, who was uh, suffering from that uh, foot injury, special teams coach Alan Ricard, offensive line coach Mike Markison, defensive line coach Jeff Weeks, the cornerbacks coach Kevin Mathis, and the director of internal operations and the liaison for academics is Latoya M. Williams. All right, that's a look at the starting offense and the starting defense. When we come back, we'll have more as our countdown to kickoff continues on this beautiful Saturday afternoon in Jackson. This is the Tigers Sports Network. We all just want to know the facts about the COVID-19 vaccine and get life back to normal as soon as possible. But where can you go for the facts on the vaccine? Just visit aarp.org slash msvaccine to learn who's eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Mississippi, when, where, and how to get it, and what you might want to discuss with your doctor. That's aarp.org slash msvaccine for the latest information and the facts you need. Paid for by AARP. importance of health. Blue Health. The experience of what it means to be healthy. Because taking care today leads to an even healthier tomorrow. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be healthy. It's good to be blue. When your neighbor's dog barks at 2 a.m., it sounds like this. When your C Spire phone barks, it sounds like this. 
That's an alert from the Bark Parental Control app. It can help manage your child's screen time, filter websites, and keep track of location check-ins, all while respecting their privacy. And because your child's safety matters, it's free from C Spire. Learn more at cspire.com slash bark. Bark Parental Controls, free from C Spire. Make your home merrier this Christmas. Miss Kelly's has thousands of products in stock and ready for you. Plus, with no money down financing and savings up to $300, we're furnishing happiness for the holidays. A new bedroom, a roomier dining set, or more seating in the family room. There's plenty to choose from on our website or in our showrooms. Then pick it up or have it delivered, and your furniture will arrive before Santa. Make this Christmas your merriest at Miss Kelly's. Welcome back to Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon as we are moments away from kickoff of the SWAC championship game between Jackson State and Prairie View. JSU leads the overall series between the Tigers and the Panthers. This is the 62nd meeting, and JSU leads 40 victories, 19 losses, and two ties. Jackson State's longest win streak coach came between 1972 and 2004 when JSU won 28 in a row. Jesus Christ. That's, that's, <laughs> when does that happen? Ooh, Jackson State beat the Panthers 28 straight times. Yeah. And, you know, when I was coming up, I, I, I thought that what it was supposed to be when, when I heard Prairie View. Yeah, and, and same here. Yeah. I mean, it, it just was, well, who y'all play this week? Oh, Prairie View, we'll be all right. You yeah. know? But now, yeah, tables have, have turned. Yeah. You know? PBU, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're one of the top. Power Five, Black, H, I mean, HBCU yeah. out here now, Coach. Yeah, PBU won. Um, they broke that 28-game winning streak in 2005 when the Panthers beat the Tigers in Prairie View 27-9. to And um, actually, Prairie View's longest winning streak over Jackson State was four. So Jackson State is on this series with the Panthers and JSU coming into this game with a two-game winning streak over PBU. Let's go down on the field now with the third member of our broadcast team, Jamie Horton, in our Miss Kelly sideline report. Jamie? Yeah, Rob, it's, it's pure excitement down here. You got a lot of a lot of the stars came out. You got all Saints linebacker, all pro uh, Demario Davis is on the sidelines. You also have former Tiger and Mississippi Valley head coach uh, Vincent Dansby. Uh, had a chance to talk to him, and he said it was great to see, great atmosphere. He said haven't been to game to uh, a game since like 13 or 14. He says it's just good to come back home, and uh, he said he told me to tell you guys that he appreciates you guys a whole lot for all the support that you've given him. Uh, he's a great coach, man. Yeah, he, he is, coach. Great, great yeah. coach and a great young man off, off the field as well. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, in fact, uh, Prairie View coming into this game limping after that little kicking they took from Valley last week. Yeah, coach, limping. And their, their best receiver, if I'm not mistaken, was, was banged up pretty bad. Yeah, he was. And Coach Prime earlier this week, he said that Vince Dancy is the best coach in the swag. He he is one of one of the best coaches in the SWAT, coach. Yeah, I mean, and 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 I I, I would coach, and I'll say this: he built his thing from the ground up, coach, and he's earning respect the right way. You know, and that, that means a lot. Well, coach, I know that uh, you have participated in this game. We have not really played in this game in so long since 2013. Uh, what are your emotions going into this? Well, you, you know, you can just only imagine what's going on in the locker room right now. Um, the clock is winding down. You know, it's getting close to 20 minutes before kickoff. So now the guys are getting dressed and strapping it on, and coach is getting ready to give that pregame motivational speech. And it should not be a whole lot of motivation because you're, you're playing for a championship, coach. And, and that's big. Yes, sir. The winner of this game will advance to the – Celebrity Bowl, <laughs> not the Celebrity Bowl. Why are you talking about the Celebrity Bowl? <laughs> the celebration. celebration. I did a Celebrity Bowl. What you write that on my paper for, Coach? I'm going to blame, Jim. I'm going to blame I somebody. I, tri I tricked you, Coach. Yeah, you tricked me. My bad. The what is it? The Celebration Bowl. Celebration Bowl. South Carolina State. Yes. What do you think about that? Well, I don't worry about them yet. 
We won't worry about them yet, Coach. In the words of Coach Prime, let's take care of the one in Let, front of us. Let's take care of that. That's what he told, that's what he told <laughs> Neely. Neely. But Neely asked him that. Yeah. Right well, I said yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jamie would ask him that like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but Jackson State comes into this game averaging 29 points a game. PBU averaging 26 points a game, Coach. But Jackson State gives up 13. Prairie View gives up 26 points a game. What's your prediction? What's your score prediction here today? Coach, I, I predict it'll probably be around with both teams able to score. Coach Eric Dooley is a offensive mind minded guy. I would say about Jackson State 30, 30 plus to about 20, 27. You think Purview will score 27? Yeah, Coach. Jamie, what, what do you what do you think? Well, it's like I told Noah and them early on uh, the uh, sports zone. I think it will be Jackson State 34. I think Purview will only score 14. You know, I was kind of along that line, Coach. I said it would be, I said it would be 30 to, to 12. But see, see, the thing is, is that Coach Eric Eric Dooley is a heck of an offensive coach. Now, the key is going to be how well his quarterback plays because in his pregame show, they talked about his quarterback. And he kept saying he'll be ready, he'll be ready. Mm -hmm. That lets me know that something must be going on with the quarterback play. Yeah. Um, and then my concern is big Jane Dumas. Yes. Jason Dumas, I'm sorry. Yeah. The big man in the middle uh -huh. uh, for PV. And there's two of those guys. So yeah. those two defensive tackles yeah. can really play. What concerns me is the play of our offensive line. You know, we haven't established a run game in, in 12, 13 weeks. Yes, sir. And so that's what really concerns me. You have to be able to run the football, especially when you get a lead, because now it puts pressure back on your defense. So you, you have to be able to establish those drives. So that's why I'm kind of leery right now. Well, of course, um, Prairie View has a excellent quarterback. His name is Jason Dumas. I'm sorry, his name is Jawan Pass, rather. J Jawan Pass, a big 6'4", 228-pounder. From Columbus, Georgia, he transferred from Louisville. He played under uh, what's the quarterback with the Ravens? I don't want to call his name. Uh, Lamar, <laughs> Lamar, Lamar, Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I don't want to call his name. Man, you, man, <laughs> yeah, them, this yeah. Yeah, I don't want to call. Him. But, yeah, you hate but, on Tom Brady. You hate on Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, Jawan Pass has he's the um, third best passer in the conference. But of late, he has his middle name is incomplete. Yeah, incomplete pass. <laughs> <laughs> incomplete pass for the pass so, two. Right now, we're going to go down on the field for the national anthem as we are getting set for this ball game here at Memorial Stadium. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice crowd here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Right now, Coach, I would say a crowd of around 40,000. What yes. would you say, Coach? I, I agree, Coach. I mean, it's it's packed, Coach. Only room is at the top. <laughs> and if I had to go up there, there will be plenty of room left. <laughs> this game started back in 1999. Jackson State and Southern University were the first participants in the SWAC championship game. And... 
Uh, you know, the, the conference kind of wanted, uh, well, I wouldn't say they wanted, but this is the great place to have it, you know, as, as great as this venue is. And Jackson State is back in the SWAC championship game, man. And these fans are excited to see JSU win this game and head to the Celebration Bowl, that coach. Yeah, coach, it, it will be an exciting moment, and it is an exciting time. As you can see, all the blue and white pom-poms, coach, in the air. All right, let's go back down on the field with Jamie Horton in our Miskelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob, the, the excitement down here is like unparalleled. Like seriously, you have to be down here to experience it. Both both sides are uh, popped up. Perry brought a nice little crowd with them. So it should be an interesting game. The thing is, I talked to some of the coaches before the game. They was like they're trying to get on top of Perry View. They have to take them out the game, like Coach said about their, their quarterback. They're very worried, of, I think, a little bit about their offense. So it's key that they jump on top of Perry quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, Jackson State fans excited about this one as we're just about set to kick it off here on a beautiful sunny afternoon at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. No rain has fallen out. There was a few drops of rain this morning, Coach, but other than that, it is a beautiful day here in Jackson. It has turned out to be a beautiful day, Coach. Early, like you said, it was real foggy. and looked like it was going to get a few rain drops, but a great day for some football. Well, Coach, and this will give me an opportunity to ask you about your team uh, that you coach in Baton Rouge. How's everything going with uh, Southern Lab? It's extremely well, Coach. We uh, advanced on to the state championship game. We'll play this coming Friday. Um, you know, the stage is set in the New Orleans Superdome at 12 o'clock. And you are in the state title game. Correct. Well, congratulations, Coach, and, and your record right now, uh, you're 10 and 2. 12 and 12. And 12. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Brown, he, he straight me up quick, didn't he, James? Yeah. 12, 12, 12. He corrected you real 12, fast 12, on 12, that, 12. didn't he? I didn't 12, even get the 10 12, out. 12, 12, 12. <laughs> but, you know, as much as we've been playing, I had to ask the guys, what is our record, man? I, you get so locked in. Yeah. Man. But it feels good to uh, be coaching my alma mater and we're in the championship game in my college is in the championship game so it feels great well coach congratulations man coach i think you kind of got a little uh coach like coach prime you got your son playing with you as well huh yeah now that, doing? that's a remarkable thing to have um as a matter of fact he's with me on the road today just to be able to get up in the morning and travel back and forth to school with my son uh, i didn't have that luxury but you know it's a blessing that i i do that he has it and uh, um it's a heck of a thing man you know um, so i'm glad and excited Absolutely. Well, we're proud of you, Coach. We really are the whole crew. We'd like to wish you luck on Friday. Some of us got to work, so we can't make it. But you be in our thoughts and our prayers. Thank you, brother. Now, this game is in New Orleans, Coach? New Orleans, in the Superdome, Coach. Wow. It's, it's, why, why don't you leave your quarterback down there, Coach? The Saints need him. We need him. <laughs> <laughs> He has thrown 45 touchdowns. Uh, well, you just, leave him there and just tell wow. him to go put on a black yeah. and gold uniform Sunday. <laughs> he has thrown 45 touchdowns, Coach? Yeah, Coach. He's, wow. Uh, the 10th grade, he threw 40, 11th grade, 41, and 45 his senior year. And he got an arm on him, too, uh, Rob. He's, he's, a, he's a, in Brown, I'll tell you, he's a great athlete. He's going to be uh, something special one day. And, uh, Coach, I thought about you the other night when I saw uh, the LSU game. I saw one of your guys playing for LSU, number 18. I forgot his name. but Yeah, Damone kept, Clark. Yeah, they said, yeah. kept saying he went to Southern Lab. I said, I go, Coach. Yeah, I have three of them over there, Coach, and I'm proud of all those young men, not just at LSU, but every else, everywhere else that yeah. those young men are. They're doing well, and I'm proud of all those student, student athletes. All right. Prairie View will be coming out in their white jerseys with the gold numbers, the chrome, golden chrome helmets, the white pants as they enter the field right now. Losers of three in a row, so they're coming into this game limping into it, but you can't take them lightly, Coach. No, you can't, Coach. I mean, they have a great head football coach. He has built this team, he, and he understands how to get his guys pumped up. But, again, you're going against the Jackson State Tigers. Coach Prime was asked this week, what was it about <laughs> Prairie View that concerned him? He said absolutely nothing. He said they should be concerned about us. No question. Now, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what but I bet you didn't tell him like you tell me. No, no well, <laughs> how you talk about me when I get to talking cocky, wait, like you, the fans getting ready to hit somebody wait, right now. Wait, 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 Jamie, he, he done went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to hit somebody, Jamie. <laughs> 
Jackson State coming out <laughs> in their blue jerseys with the white numbers, solid blue pants with the blue helmets with the familiar JSU logo in the block. So the stage is set, Coach. Yeah, the stage is set, Coach. And I tell my son all the time, if I'm going to spend my money for school, you're coming to Jackson State. <laughs> <laughs> we got Sonny the Tiger in midfield that's with boy, uh, his yeah. boxing glove. That's my boy. <laughs> that's Whoever boy. is in that suit is so talented. That's my man, Sonny the Tiger. I was mad at him a couple of years ago. You but, sure was. No, but but no we no friends question, now. No <laughs> Coach, he has the baby Tiger in boxing gloves. So that tells you what, what type of game about. is about to be. I didn't really realize at that time, Sonny was just having his teams back, and he didn't understand you can't go out there on the field. But, yeah, I love him to death. All right, we're getting set for the team captains to meet at midfield. The sonic boom of the South, Prairie View's marching band here in attendance. Check, 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 check. To get it underway. Coach, that was an amazing entrance, Coach. Did you, did you see the energy down there? Did you fill it up here through the windows, Coach? Did you hear it? I did. I mean, you, 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 you pushing it? all over him. Coach, I'm a little nervous now. You don't push me out this window, man. <laughs> Jamie, he just pushing on me. Oh, oh, he's about it. He, yeah. I'm going to push you out at the Southern game, so you just Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the energy, Coach. You get goosebumps, man. Fireworks going off. Yeah. And Jackson State makes its entrance beneath the big inflatable JSU Tiger with the big tiger on top of the dome. Coach, remember when you went through that Grambling Tiger down in Grambling <laughs> and Doug Williams met you on the other side? <laughs> I remember once say, once say, I have a bear, you better turn around. You got a big old joker coming behind you. <laughs> Rob, you almost all abroad out there. <laughs> yeah, Coach, you almost stirred yeah. up something out there, Coach. And you know, the amazing thing about it, Doug and I are so close, Coach. Uh, I mean, we're, we're he raised me, Coach. I mean, you know, Baton Rouge, wow. Louisiana. Well, Coach, what made you want to go through that tunnel anyway? Just young and immature, Coach. That's okay. all. Okay. But you learn as you go. And, yeah. um, you know, and sometimes in life, and what I tell every young man, you have to own up to your mistakes in yes, order sir. for you to get better in life. Yes, sir. And that was a time where I was young and immature. And mm -hmm. uh, But the man told you not to go in there. You go, come on. <laughs> Come on! Well, it was Unc. I'm gonna blame Unc. Coach. He can't defend himself. It was Unc. <laughs> Rest his soul. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Uncle, if Uncle he was in the apple berry, you know that's not right. <laughs> and I was, and Jamie, I was just arriving there. We came in on a helicopter. I was just arriving, and they told me as soon as I stepped off the helicopter, man, you missed it. <laughs> you, you really did. I was there, so I look. I saw it, and it was so funny. I was like, oh my god. That's just like the Heisman pose, Rob. <laughs> we, we knew from that point on what type of game it was going to be. You're talking about um, our guys and Coach Spears, Melvin Spears, and a, a phenomenal offensive coordinator. The things that you see now, Coach, we, we've been there and done that with these, with these offenses, man. And you look at Coach Roach, he was a heck of a defensive coach. Uh, Archie Cooley, I mean, it started with him. Well, let's go down on the field now for the official coin toss. Okay, guys, we're going to shake hands, come and deal with each other. Okay, we talked to both coaches. We're going to let you play. We're going to let you play. We're going to let you play. Just understand that, okay? Got a coin here. The helmet is heads. That's the tail. You're the visiting captain. You get the call. What do you call? Heads. What did he call? Heads. What did he call? Heads. It's all heads. It is tail. So what? You want to defer? Which way you want to kick? <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Got a lot of big crowd here. So just stand here. Jackson State won the toss. Prairie View. All right. So Jackson State wins the toss, and the Tigers elect to put. Their defense on the field first. You like that decision, Coach? I do, Coach. I do. I like the way our defense has been playing. All right. We'll take a break and come back with the start of today's championship game after this on the Tigers Sports Network.
Back at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium, Bailey Rayburn will be set to kick it away for Jackson State. The Tigers will be kicking from left to right. PBU coming into this game, they're ranked last in kick returns this season. They only average 12 yards a return, Coach. 12 yards a return. Wow. But they have those chrome golden helmets. Yeah, that's some pretty helmets, Coach. You know, if they had a little purple in there, they almost look like all corn a little bit. This team coming into this game loses a three in a row, so we are just about set to get the cricket swag championship game underway presented by Pepsi. All right, the Jackson State coming off the field now to get a few final minute instructions. So is PBU. Nice crowd here, not as large as it was against Alcorn, but a nice crowd nonetheless. It is, Coach. Very, very nice crowd. The fans, you can hear the announcer, he's getting those fans pumped up and ready to go. Again, this is the 62nd meeting between these two teams. Jackson State leads the series, 40 wins, 19 losses, two ties. Jackson State owns a two-game winning streak against PBU coming into this game. Uh, Tigers, uh, last time they played, they played in Prairie View. That game went into overtime, and Jackson State won it. C.J. Anderson blocked the field goal which preserved JSU's win over these Panthers. And PBU did not like that at all down in Prairie View losing to Jackson State in that game. Coach. Yeah, I remember that all game. All kind of chaos. Thursday night game. Yeah, all kind of chaos. Yeah. yeah we, we needed, we needed a uh, security guard to get to the bus, didn't we, Rob? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was, it was bad. Yeah, because I, I think I got into it with somebody at the bus. You, you did. Oh, I'm you had to do was stop talking. Now he's your best friend. Yeah, now he's my friend. I'm not going to call his name, but Lil Willie is his initial. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want us to get any of the food at the at the bus, coach. Who, who Lil Will? Yeah, he was he was he was the assistant coach at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, coach, we had to calm Rob down. I had to put Rob on the bus. Yeah, I was, I was really going to. Um, Lil Willie don't know who he's messing with. A well, Hall of Famer, no? You don't fool with a Hall of Famer. Well, I wasn't a Hall of Famer then. You was on your way though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're set now. Raven, one of the best kickers when it comes to kicking off. He's second in the conference in kickoffs he has 29 touchbacks coming into this game so we can look for Raven to probably put this one into the end zone we're just about set to get it underway Raven raises his left arm approaches the football kicks with the left foot and it is fielded in the end zone he's out to the five ten angles to the left and brought down at about the 16 make it the 17 yard line and that's where Jawan pass We'll begin. Yeah, that's where you want to get them to start, Coach. At the mine, anytime you can start on the minus 20, you're doing a good job. First down for the Panthers. They'll be operating from right to left. Jawan Pass is a quarterback for PVU. He's ranked third in the league in passing this season. PVU at its own 18-yard line here on first and 10. Pass in the shotgun. He has five receivers. In the ball game, three to the right, two to the left. And you have to look out for Jackson State's lineman number 41. That's all they need to look out for, James Houston. Pass in trouble, and down he goes at the nine-yard line. Keontae Hampton, coach. Jackson State brought that pressure. They lined up in a 4-2 defense. Keontae Hampton came off the edge on that blitz. Nine-yard loss on the play. PBU in trouble already facing second down and long after that sack by Keontae Hampton. PB at its own 10. Now pass again in the shotgun. Flips it out to the right side. It is incomplete. He was trying to throw the screen pass, but, you know, maybe that sun got in the receiver's eyes there, Coach. It may have, Coach, but I tell you what. That defense has fired off that football coach. What a heck of a way to start the game and set the tone. Well, we told you. His middle name may be incomplete. His last name is Pass. <laughs> no question. So it's third down and long for PBU from his own 10-yard line. They have to get it to the 29 for first down. Pass again in the shotgun. Pass takes the snap, throws across the middle of the catch is made, but not much there as he was brought down after about a two-yard game. Yeah, Coach, that's a heck of a way for that defense to get started right there. Coach Jackson State defense was all over that one. 
So, Jamie, a great start to the defense for Jackson State. And that is exactly what the coach was talking about pregame, getting off to a, a, a big start. So that was a great start by the defense. Hopefully the offense can carry on the momentum. Uh, this will give JSU really good field position. Newman standing back near midfield at that SWAC championship logo as PBU will punt from its own end zone. There's a snap. The kick is away. Oh, my goodness. This is a good kick. Driving him back to the 35. Newman up at the 40. Newman across midfield. Newman has room, and he is tackled at Prairie View's 41. If he had cut it to the right, Coach, he had a lot of room. Yeah, he had a lot of room, Coach. But they, he split the difference between those two. Anytime that a kicker out kicks the coverage, he's in trouble messing with Newman. So Warren Newman with a great return at the Prairie View 42-yard line. Here comes Letter Rip Sanders. Yes, sir. Leading the Jackson State offense on first down and 10. Two receivers to the right for Jackson State. Corbin in the slot to the right. You got Shane Hook stretched out wide to the left. Peyton Pickett standing to Shadour's right shoulder. He'll hand it off to Pickett. Pickett trying to go around that right side. Takes it inside the 40. Maybe picks up four yards on that play. Nice little push right there. I see Coach Taylor came out with a different formation here. Uh, three receivers, but you had the tight end lined up and two receivers that time. Jackson State. Jackson State at the 37 of Prairie View here on second down and five. as a five-yard pickup on that play for Peyton. Jackson State operating from left to right. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Shadour takes a snap, has time, surveys the field. Now he's going to step up, and he slides down for now a gain of about a yard. Yeah, Coach, he didn't see what he wanted. They went all hitch routes. I thought those hitch routes were, to, were going to convert to go routes right there. It's man coverage with the press. I know he's getting what he wants right here. So a one-yard pickup on the play for Jackson State. It's third down for the Tigers from the PBU. 36-yard line, third down and four for Jackson State. Shadour in the shotgun. Quick drop, throws. It is incomplete. Trying to get it to Malachi, who couldn't hang on to it, bring it up fourth down. Yeah, he, they may go for it right here, Coach. What do you think, Jamie? Yeah, I, I think he's going to go for it. He had the look he wanted, Coach, when he went four receivers or either three. You had Weidman one-on-one -on -one with number four down here at the bottom. Jackson State is last in the league in fourth down conversions. There are only two of ten coming into this ball game. So it is fourth down for the Tigers, fourth and four for JSU from the Panthers, 36. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin in motion from right to left. Sanders takes the snap. Sanders with time. Steps up now. He throws. It is incomplete. It was a little bit too high trying to get it to Peyton Pickett. Shadour had a little pressure on him as he tried to run and throw it, but it's incomplete. Yeah, they just went straight man coverage on that coach. They motioned him over the trip. But every time you motion over, you're leaving around and it goes. Timeout. Yeah, we have a timeout on the field. No score here in the first quarter. 12 10 to go. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Make your home merrier this Christmas. Miss Kelly's has thousands of products in stock and ready for you. Plus, with no money down financing and savings up to $300, we're furnishing happiness for the holidays. A new bedroom, a roomier dining set, or more seating in the family room. There's plenty to choose from on our website or in our showrooms. Then pick it up or have it delivered, and your furniture will arrive before Santa. Make this Christmas your merriest at Miss Kelly's. When your neighbor's dog barks at 2 a.m., it sounds like this. When When your C Spire phone barks, it sounds like this. 
That's an alert from the Bark Parental Control app. It can help manage your child's screen time, filter websites, and keep track of location check-ins, all while respecting their privacy. And because your child's safety matters, it's free from C Spire. Learn more at cspire.com slash bark. Bark Parental Controls, free from C Spire. State University football brought to you the service of Cadillac of Jackson. Cadillac of Jackson is a proud supporter of Jackson State University. Get your prime deal today at Cadillac of Jackson. And every day the American Red Cross helps thousands of people during emergencies, providing relief and care to families in need. The Red Cross depends on your end-of-year donations to do this critical work. Visit redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make a donation that will change someone's life. 12-10 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Both teams have had the ball once. PBU get it set for its second possession of the game. And let's go down on the field now with Jamie Horton and our Miskelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob, the uh, offense that time was a little out of whack. Offense coaches are calming their offense down, saying it's just one series. Um, they're telling the defense to go out there and get the ball back. So hopefully the offense can find some kind of rhythm. They was out of rhythm that time. Uh, um, Shadour just couldn't find a groove, so hopefully defense can get the ball back, offense can get back out there and score some points. Coach, nice crowd of PBU fans made the trip from Texas to it come is. here to watch this game. Coach. It is, Coach. I mean, it, it, it's a nice crowd over there, Coach. It kind of looks like a crowd of Alcorn fans over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alcorn was just a little bit larger than what they have over yeah, there now, Coach. Coach. They were all the way to the top. Yeah, the last time PBU played in this ball game was in 2009 when they beat Alabama A&M 30 to 24. Now the last time Jackson State was in this game, the Tigers lost to Southern 34 27. That was one of the most heartbreaking losses I've seen in overtime. Yeah, I was actually at that game. You're talking about the one in Houston. Exactly. Here on first down, Jawan passes. Throw is incomplete. So it's gonna be second down and 10 for the Panthers from their own 36 yard line. Jackson State is doing a whole lot of subbing right here. They just brought a whole new defensive line in the game. But you still have Gaddy and Houston at the ends. They were going to that three-man front now. Yeah. PB moving the ball from right to left. In the shotgun is Jawan Pass. Three receivers to his right, two to the left. Empty backfield for Pass. There's a snap. Pass, short drop, throws across the middle. It's incomplete, batted down by Haney. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they brought pressure that time, Coach. Big Justin Reagan created some problems in that middle. So, Jawan passed with three incompletions so far in this ball game. And you gave him the name Jawan Incomplete Pass. And he's living up to it. Third down and 10 for pass. And the Panthers. Jackson State showing a little blitz, but here they come. Pass. Runs to his right, and he's going to take off. Pass at the first down marker, and he may be a yard short as he slides down at about the 46, just short of the 46. Now, yeah, that thing, that thing short. Coach. And they gave it, to him, gave it to him. He needed to get to the 46, Coach. That ball didn't even on the 46. It's slightly behind it, so the nose didn't yeah. give it to him right there, Coach. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's first a game down. of inches. That's the first first down of the ball game for either team, now, Coach. Wow. First down run by pass. PV at the 46. They'll hand it off. Not much there for the Panthers on first down. Yeah, Khalil Aronson on the tackle. Coach hadn't heard much from him this year, but he's in making some plays now. So PBU on first down, runs for about two yards. They're at nearly um, at midfield there at the SWAC logo, so they're at around the 47-yard line. Second down and about seven for the Panthers. Pass again in the shotgun. Here on second down and eight. Pass, takes a snap, pass, throws down the right side, and it is caught. What a catch. Wow. Well, the 
did they say incomplete? Okay, they're going to say it's incomplete. Yeah, Warren Nugget was all over him, Coach. Wow. Yeah, he was all over him, Coach. Oh, I mean, it was excellent coverage. Well, if he, he would have caught that, that would have been a heck of a catch. But it was excellent coverage. I thought he caught that, Coach. He, the ball, he came up with the football. And it's a bright sunshine where he threw the ball. So, again, pass with an incompletion as Jackson State continues to make changes. Miles Gaddy back in the ball game for the Tigers. As well as Khalil Arrington. And I think right now they're, they're, they're going back and forth with the defensive fronts because it's a game of chess. When they spread them out, Coach, and Dooley wants a challenge right here, Coach, with that, with that pass. Yeah, it was real close. Yeah, it, it was close. But what they're doing, if they go to the spread, they're going with a three-man front. They go heavy, they're going to go with the, uh, the four-man front. Okay, so Dooley is going to challenge this. Or He's trying to. No. I think he is. They may be telling PB to just hike the football, man. <laughs> so it's yeah, third down. Coming into this game, PVU. Ranked fourth in the league, third down conversion. Here's pass, throws across the middle. The catch is made. Now, this is a first down inside the Jackson State 35, down to the Tigers' 29-yard line. Pass just fired that in there. Yeah, Coach, that was on Wiggins, Coach. I mean, he fired that one in there, beat him on a slant route. Jackson State is giving up the middle of the field. Anytime they bring that pressure, they're trying to beat him on those inside slants. So... PV now at the Jackson State 29-yard line. This is the seventh play of this drive for the Panthers. It started back at the 36. Pass in trouble, and he sacked again. Pass sacked back at the 34-yard line. Yeah, uh, Arrington on, Khalil Arrington on that sack again, Coach. But we had a receiver uncovered down here. So that was a loss of four yards on that sack. Back to the 34-yard line. Actually, that was Justin Reagan, Coach. Number 92. Gotcha. So it's going to be third down and 14 for the Panthers. Second down, actually, and 14 for the Panthers. He'll fake the handoff. Pass sacked again. This time, pass is sacked back at the 45 yard line. Gaddy leading the way for the Tigers. Yeah, you got Gaddy yet. Uh, Reagan, all those guys on that play, Coach, that defensive line is just, those guys are phenomenal, Coach. Wow. Jackson State is ranked second in the league in passing, actually first in the league in, in uh, passing defense, first in the league in defense, period. Yeah, really. <laughs> and uh, pass has been sacked in back-to-back -back down, so it's third down. And 21 to go for the Panthers. Ninth play of the drive. PB at the Jackson State 40-yard line. Pass again. Back to throw. He has time. Rolls to his right. Buys time. Gaddy chasing him. And pass is just going to throw it. It's intercepted. He threw it back. Oh, they're going to say it's incomplete. <laughs> okay, the official the, the judge back by the five-yard line said it was incomplete. I, I don't know. They going to I, 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 that looked like it was interception. Is it intercepted? They, they're I, talking I, about it. It I looked like I, interception. I think they're going to give him the interception, guys. Is there a flag on the play, Brown? I don't see it. No. Flag on the play back in the uh, 35. The ruling on the field is an interception by the defense. What flag did Brown no see? no flag. That's a sand spot. That's a sand spot. <laughs> what flag did he see? I, I told you. I the was. previous play is on a further review. That's a sand spot. That's a sand <laughs> spot. See, that's why you got me sitting here, I'm man. Sorry, I, Come I, I, on. I, I didn't mean no harm. I'm sorry. I, I, what I did would, I tell you? I didn't look hard at him. I didn't look The ruling on the field of an interception by the defense is confirmed. Jackson State ball, first and ten. Wow. We did have... And a legal forward pass, number one on the offense. That penalty is declined. Oh, well, that was a flag. That's why he's sitting over there. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who saw that flag was Brown. Time out. All right, we're trying to figure this out. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> he's right one out of how many games? 13? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. 
Uh, One out of four years. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Cameron Silman with the interception. We talked about him in the uh, pregame show. He had the great interception, and Jackson State will take over at the 22-yard line. This is the Tigers' second drive of the ball game. JSU's first drive brought to you by Riverbend Tire Center. Don't drive on bad tires. Visit Riverbend Tires at 601-933-9799 or riverbendtirecenter.com. 8.25 to go here in the first quarter at the cricket championship uh, game, the SWAC championship game between Jackson State and Prairie View. And, uh, Coach, I was nervous. I thought they were going to throw a rough in the pass on JSU when pass was close to that sideline, and he just threw it back across his body. That was an ill-advised pass to throw when you think, Coach. Yeah, it was, Coach. You're never, you're never taught to throw back across your body back into traffic. But I'm – Hoping that Coach Dooley doesn't get a 15-yarder right here. I mean, a, a ejection right here, Coach. Yeah. He, he's you, letting you, them have it. You hoping that he don't get it? <laughs> no, okay. I, I, want, I want coaches to. The head coaches need to finish the game, Coach. Your, your team is a reflection of you. Okay, well, okay, that's better them than us. Yeah, no question. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> yes, a reflection, sir. you know. Jackson State first and 10 from its own 22. Shadur will hand it off to Peyton Pickett, and he is dropped. No gain on the place lost. That's Jason Dumas. You talked about him in the pregame on yeah, that tackle. That is. Jason Dumas, he's been making a lot of big plays, but that was my concern from the defensive tackle from center guard to guard with us. We have to get a run game going. All right, that was a three-yard loss on the play, bringing up second down and 13 now for JSU. Ball back at the Tigers' 19-yard line. Under eight minutes to play here in the first quarter. No score. Jackson State and the Panthers. Shadour Sanders in the shotgun. He's got Pickett standing to his left shoulder. He loses the football. He dropped it. Was able to pick it up. And Shadour is tackled at the 16. So Jackson State moving in the wrong direction here on this second drive of the ball game. Yeah, I mean, it was a good snap. He just dropped it. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if he took his eyes off it or what, but it was a good snap. So that'll go down as a sack, Coach. This is the this third down now for Jackson State. Third and 16. Tigers at their own 16-yard line. Operating from left to right, JSU on its second series of the game, courtesy of an interception by Cameron Silman. We got three receivers to the right. Shadour back to throw. Has time. Steps up now. Runs across the 20. Side steps the tackle. And he is brought down at the 30. It's going to be two yards shy of the first down. Yeah, that was a good move right there, Coach. I, you know, week in and week out, like he's getting a little bit better and pulling that football down and running. They dropped eight in coverage on him that time. That was a good decision. Do you go for it here, Coach? No, sir, Coach. Go ahead and punt it. Okay. Flip the field and let's keep playing defense. Back deep for the Panthers is Antonio Mullins, the senior from Katy, Texas. PVU not very good in punt returns. This is a good kick. It's going to drive Mullins back to about the 33. Signals for the fair catch. And that's where the Panthers will start with 6.14 to go. We have another timeout on the field. Timeout. 
Jackson State zero, the Panthers zero. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. just want to know the facts about the COVID-19 vaccine and get life back to normal as soon as possible. But where can you go for the facts on the vaccine? Just visit aarp.org slash msvaccine to learn who's eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Mississippi, when, where, and how to get it, and what you might want to discuss with your doctor. That's aarp.org slash msvaccine for the latest information and the facts you need. Paid for by AARP. Importance of health. Blue Health. The experience of what it means to be healthy. Because taking care today leads to an even healthier tomorrow. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be healthy. It's good to be blue. State football brought to you in part by the Children's Educare Preschool Daycare. The Children's Educare Preschool Daycare is a full service facility providing daycare from infancy to school age children for over 20 years. We offer a literacy rich learning environment with a Stream Express curriculum with the Technology Center also available. We serve breakfast and lunch and two snacks daily. We're located at 5555 Robinson Road Extension. For more information, call us at 601 922 8060. 6.14 to go here in the first quarter. The first quarter of today's game brought to you by Converge One. It's a proud sponsor of JSU TV and JSU Tiger Football. They have proven technology solutions that connect people with purpose. That's Converge One and JSU TV. PBU now with its third possession of the first quarter. They have not scored. Uh, they were close in that uh, second possession. Moved the ball all the way to the Jackson State 29-yard line before they... Uh, they had back-to-back -back sacks and then an interception by Jawan Paz. So Paz coming into this game, Coach, the third-best quarterback in the league, and he's been under duress all game. Yeah, his best plays really, Coach, has been when he pulled it down and ran the football when he had some running room. But trying to complete some passes have really been a struggle for him today. All right, let's check in now with Jamie Horton in our Muskelly Sideline Report. Yeah, Rob, apparently there's some illegal drones being uh – was an announcement a few minutes ago about if you if you're caught flying an illegal drone, you will be kicked out the stadium. Yeah, we've been trying to locate those drones too. But we yeah, had, we hadn't had a chance to find them. Yeah, Brown can find them. He saw that flag. Yeah. <laughs> First down for PBU. Jawan Pass, the quarterback. He's in the shotgun. Two receivers to his left, two to the right. Here's a snap. Pass throws across the middle. The ball is the catch is made rather. Short gain on the play, about a five-yard gain for the Panthers. Yeah, Silman on that tackle right there, Coach. They just ran a little quick route. PV setting back up, going hurry-up mode on them. And pass will run it again. He gets close to the first down before he is dropped. Maybe a yard shy of the first down. Are they going to say it is a first down? So they move the check. Well, they're getting ready to move him. They're getting ready to move him. Yeah, Aubrey Miller on that, on that tackle right there, Coach. They just ran a zone, and he pulled it. PV at the... 44-yard line. And they're going with these quick plays. Yeah, they're trying to go with, with a little quick out right there, trying to push Jack. Officials timeout for an injured player. Antoine Owens is down. Hopefully he's okay. You don't want to lose him, Coach. Yeah. We go Antoine Owens. So we have an official timeout, and that'll give us an opportunity to let you know that this injury is brought to you by McCullum Physical Therapy, located 5225 Highway 18 West in Jackson. As Owens is up, you can give them a call at 601-487-8456. That's 601-487-8456 to assist you from rehab to recovery. Yeah, that's a good sign he jogged off the field right there. Second down and five for PBU. Just shy of midfield at their own 49-yard line. Pass, faking a handoff, and he's going to slide down after taking it across midfield. Shiloh Sanders is there to make sure he stops. But another first down for the Panthers. 
now what has to happen, the defensive end, they're, they're giving the, the zone to one side, that end, which is Gaddy, he can't squeeze like he's doing. He's going to have to read the quarterback. PV now at the Jackson State 43-yard line, the second time they've been in JSU's territory. Pass going deep down the left side, and it is incomplete. Great coverage back there by the Tigers. That was Al Young on the co coverage. Yeah, Al Young with the coverage, and Sanders was over the top to help him. Coach. Those corners have really been playing well. Again, PB with the quick play. They'll run it. Trying to take it off right tackle. Keontae Hampton is there to make the tackle, but a good gain on the play by Prairie View. That was Ahmad Antoine on the run, about a seven-yard gain on the play. Yeah, Keontae Hampton made a great play. PV at the Jackson State 36-yard line. It is third down and about four to go for Prairie View. They're at the Jackson State 36. I have a They had what, Coach? They only had 10 players on the Oh, you kind of mumbled that. I didn't well, know. I, I thought you got to say something. Time out. Jackson State. No, you, you yeah, said, first. You said that. 30 second timeout. You said that. Right. <laughs> 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 you I you didn't were, hear. I know you were he counting. Was, he was counting. He was right. counting. Right. You right. said right. that. Right. Right. That's his way to count. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to count the players because I'm like a coach up here. <laughs> I'd have been hollering, hey, you don't have a 10. You don't have a 10. <laughs> so Jackson State calls a timeout. 4.21 to go here in the first quarter. No score. PB at the Jackson State 36-yard line. is third down and three to go for the Panthers. Hey, Doc, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> so third down and three, we have Dr. Charles McClellan. In the booth with us, we're always happy to have Dr. McClellan. You be on your best behavior now. I'm on. I am. A, he, you know, I, I know he's gonna. He know how to get me straight now, coach. Oh, I'm stuttering already. <laughs> no gain on the play as PB went with the running game, and it's gonna bring up fourth down. Doc, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful day for a football game. I know you have to be pleased about this. Yeah, 75 degrees in the deep south in December. Uh, great day for a SWAC championship football. Great crowd, great energy. Uh, just glad to be here, Rob. Good game. So PBU now will go for it here on fourth down, Coach. Prairie View coming into this game, fourth in the conference on fourth down conversions. They're 13 of 24, so it's fourth down and three for PBU from the JSU 35. You agree with this call, Coach? Uh, well, yes, I do, Coach. I do. <laughs> He's stuttering again, Rob. <laughs> well, well here, here's the Rob, thing. Rob, Rob, I tell you what. <laughs> guess what Time I'm out. Prairie View. Right They're first. That's 30 second timeout. That's supposed, be my, that's supposed to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Doc, that's supposed to be my friend, Rob. Yeah, well, he is because he, he's helping you. Yeah. When I ask you if you like Wendy, I love it. <laughs> you, oh, no, I like Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't see a Burger King sponsor on me. I will. <laughs> Again, we have Dr. Charles McClellan in the in the uh, studio with us. And, and Doc, uh, you know, these two teams haven't been here in a while. Uh, wh what are your thoughts on this game in general, I guess? Well, I do think that it's the best in the East versus the best in the West is ultimately what we wanted. Uh, Prairie View, people fool a little bit with that three-game losing streak, but they have a tough offensive line, a very good defense, and obviously a heck of a quarterback. It's going to go down to the wire again. So fourth down and short for the Panthers. They're going to go with it. There's a screen pass, and now they're going to go with the, oh, the flea flicker. It's caught at the 10, 5 touch. Dooley went with the trick play, and PBU strikes first, Coach. Yeah, Coach, that's that's what I was saying earlier when we talked about the scores. He's an he's a offensive jinkies now, Coach. Wow, so Dooley and PBU scores first on the little flea flicker. Yeah, they did a little bubble screen, and he caught the ball and threw it downfield. Hey, Dr. Dr. McClellan just said that that was going to happen. They're tough. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, Coach Dooley is an offensive, offensive guy. So, PB on for the point after. It is up, and it is good. And with under four minutes to go, the Panthers score first as they lead it 7-0. We'll take a break and come back. This is the Tiger Sports Network.
back in Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. After the 36-yard touchdown pass, PBU kicks it off. It goes out of bounds. So that's good news for Jackson State. Coach. It is, Coach. Great field position right here. Again, we have Dr. Charles McClellan in the studio with us as um, we talk about this cricket swag football championship. And Kick out of bounds. Kicking team, number 38. The ball will be placed at the 35-yard line. The Prairie has brought a pretty good contingency. I would say they have about seven to 8,000, which is a pretty good travel count for Prairie View. So anytime you can have a football game at the Jackson State University, you know you're going to have large crowds. So this is impressive. Yeah, and I've, I know JSU fans have been waiting to host a SWAC championship game since its inception in 1999. So uh, we have it now. Yes, we do. Shadour Sanders remains in at quarterback here on first and 10. Tigers down 7 to nothing. Shadour with time. And now here comes the pressure, and he is going to run out of bounds on the near side. No game, maybe a yard pickup on the play. Yeah, they, he just scrambled out of bounds right there. I thought he was going to take a shot downfield to Wildman, but he, he missed him going down that sideline. So, Dr. McClellan, what, what, what's uh, everybody thinking of uh, – Deion Sanders coming into the SWAC and, and the things that he's done so far for this league? Overwhelmingly positive. You know, there was some questions early on, but I think Coach Prime has kind of proved his worthiness. So I don't, yeah. I don't hear anything bad at this point. <laughs> Actually, that was a gain of a yard, that coach. So second down and nine. You know, hand it off to J.D. Martin. Well, actually, that's Shanti Marshall. Yeah, they're going to try to get him for targeting right there, Coach. But the thing with that target, he was stumbling down, Coach, mm -hmm. and he was – Trying to make a play, but it was a little helmet to helmet. They're probably going to get him for targeting. That was a nine-yard pickup, uh, but it wasn't really intentional. No, it wasn't. So they may not throw him out of this game. I hope. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll jump in. Uh, from a targeting perspective, intent is not general. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense. The previous play is on a further review. And, you know, what a lot of people don't know, if you look at the officials, and I know they always take criticisms, Rob, mm -hmm. but they have headsets on, they are in communication with the booth. So everything that goes on, there's somebody looking at it. And they are not just arbitrarily making those decisions. So uh, it could have very well been somebody in the booth saw that it was targeting on a close-up, told the official, and then they react. So there's a lot of communication that goes on. Sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong. They're not perfect, but there is a lot of technology and a lot that goes behind those calls. Yeah, they're looking at it right now, Coach. And um, I don't know. I mean, he, he was the run was a good run because uh, Shante uh, spun out of a few tackles and he picked up eight yards, maybe seven yards on a play. He's a yard shy of the first down, so uh, they're looking at it to see what's going on. Yeah, it was from here. It looks like it was targeted from here. I don't know. They look like targeting to me. Well, it'll be the high advantage, though. Yes, sir. Okay, well, it was targeting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> targeting. Hey, I would like to say congratulations to Hall of Famer, uh, Rob J. A couple of weeks, he's going to get inducted into the Swag Hall of Fame. I have to go back and look, but I don't know too many, if any. Are you the first uh, radio personality to enter into the Swag Hall of Fame? After review, the targeting is confirmed. Number 19 from Prairie View is disqualified. That 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You're going to make me cry up in here, man. You're going to make me. I'm working next to <laughs> you. Man, I, I feel good. Look, this is you hear that, man. man. This, this is here. <laughs> you know, Coach wanted to be in the Hall of Fame. He's the one who put that old JSU film on YouTube. When he was playing against all four, you can barely see what happened. And you go and see who uploaded it. Back and throw that. Like old bootleg upload. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to move the ball to yeah, PB's. They, they tossed him out too. Yeah. Close. But, uh, man, that, that, that is a, that's the, the greatest honor I've ever received, being inducted yeah. into the SWAC Hall of Fame. I, I, I didn't get into this to, to get awards or anything like that. I just wanted to, I wanted to promote the SWAC. When I, that was my goal, you know, when I started. So here on first down, Shadour throws it out to the left side. The catch is made. I think that's Newman on the catch for the Tigers. And the Jackson State picks up the first down, brought to you by Cadillac of Jackson. That was Rucker, actually. Rucker. Well, congratulations again, my friend. And uh, we wish you much success in all that you do. Well, man, I've always, I, I, when I got in, I always saw how these other conferences 
for promoted, and I was like, I just want to promote the swag, you know. So, uh, but I yeah, really, I, 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 I really it, begged I, Dr. McCullum to really <laughs> put you in there. I begged and I begged him, you know. But nah, you really earned it. I'm just joking. With well, you, Dr. Dr. McCullum, he's always it. he's always been supportive of me, man. Ashley Robinson and Elise oh. Kilbert, they've oh, always man. been supportive. So I really appreciate. It. I, I never five yard penalty. This was the farthest thing from my mind. I was going to be inducted into the SWAC Hall of Fame. Hey, you know? uh, Coach Asbury, I remember <laughs> I was a kid. I don't want to make Rob J sound that much older than I. <laughs> but he got that job at WKXI, and they said he was the million-dollar mouth. They signed him to a million-dollar contract. You remember <laughs> that, Rob J? Yes, sir. But it wasn't a million dollars now, Coach. That's but it wasn't a million dollars. So everybody <laughs> listening, don't try to don't try to talk him in the We're going to have to file him home tonight. <laughs> so it was uh, Penalty on JSU for false start, pushing the Tigers back five yards. And here on second down, or actually first down, they throw it out to Keith Corbin, who makes the catch at the Panthers' 25-yard line. Look like Larry Rip Sanders is finding his rhythm right now, Coach. <laughs> Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter, PV with a 7-3 lead. Jackson State at the Panthers' 27-yard line. Shadour will hand it off. Nice run by Shante Marshall. And Marshall takes it inside the 20 down to the Panthers 16 yard line. That's another first down brought to you by Pizza Hut. Yeah, coach, they just ran that inside zone play right there. And Marshall hit that crease. And he's so quick. That's all he needed was a little crease. You know, he came to Jackson State as a walk on. And now he leads the team in rushing. Jackson State now at the Panthers 16 yard line. First down and 10. Fakes the handoff, should do it, throws in the end zone, touchdown, Jackson State. Get a little play action off that same play, coach, and went with the fade for a touchdown. Good, good job of the officials stepping in and saying, hey, no celebration. So the commissioner bringing us some luck here. Yeah, coach, he's standing up. You know, I yeah, normally yeah. stand up you in this score, but he's standing up. Yeah, you know I'm going to stand it up. <laughs> Wow. So, Dr. McClellan, with, with, with everything going on with the swag, I mean, you have really done a man a, an amazing job bringing in Bethune Cookman, bringing in Fam U, and the swag is almost like a super conference right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm proud as to where we are. Go, go, go. Point after is good. Right, sorry. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm proud as to mm -hmm. where we are as a conference. All right, Rod. You know. When I came in, I was extremely sincere. This is not just a job. I grew up here in Jackson, sat in the stands every Jackson State game, every Alcorn game, even was here when Alcorn played Valley, 1984. So I understood, even going to Texas, how important SWAC is to the South and our member institutions. And I'm just privileged to have the opportunity to lead a little lad that went to Powell Junior High School in Callaway. Wow. Trying to find his way to be able to come back as commissioner is special. And having the game here today is special. Did you ever think at that time that you would become a SWAT commissioner? Absolutely <laughs> not. You know, I got caught cheating in Miss Nail's 11th grade class in algebra. And uh, she had a stern talk. I didn't know what was going to come of myself uh, after that, Rob. But I learned some very valuable lessons at Callaway. There are no shortcuts. Uh, you can't cheat yourself because you're going to cheat everybody else. And I think hard work and dedication is what Jackson has taught me. And it's just humbling to, to be here. And thank you guys for all of the hospitality you always give me when I come back. On the kickoff, the Panthers return it across the 20. With the 27-yard line, a flag comes in. We have our sideline reporter, Jamie Horton. Jamie, you have a question for the commissioner? Well, I just wanted to know, Commissioner, when you was coming up at, at uh, Powell and Callaway, did y'all used to beat Rob J. Alma Mater Lanier, or was it vice versa? Hey, yeah, Lanier. <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> exactly. Personal foul, blindside <laughs> box, number 30 of the receiving team. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, basketball programs in the nation now. So. Yeah, no, I understand. I, I, I was talking about it in that mid-80s yeah. range. <laughs> Football, basketball, kickball. <laughs> you just got whooped at everything, Rob. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad in football back then. But, but you know, it's something special being a part of this environment. Jackson really teaches you, you know, home, culture, pride. And as I go out and as I meet everyone, 
you know, that symbolism of being from this capital city rings true pride all the way across. So, you know, you never really know when you're in it, but when you leave and come back, it's a special feel. So PB was called for holding on that kickoff on first down. Pass will roll to his left, run across the 20-yard line and run out of bounds at about the 22. So a nice pick on the on the play by Jawan Pass. Rob, I have another question for Commissioner. Commissioner McClain, are you looking to possibly at expanding the lead even more? I'll answer that after this play. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and two for the Bats are sacked back at the 15-yard line. That's the third sack of the ball game by the Jackson State defense. Well, you know, we are definitely not looking to expand. But I wasn't looking to Time out. when we had the opportunity. Prairie View. Uh, the second. 30-second really timeout. Uh, so we're definitely not going to expand for the sake of expansion. Whomever comes to the Southwestern Athletic Conference is going to have to bring a great deal. We're offering a lot. Our sponsorships are up over a thousand percent. We have a lot of major sponsors. Our television, our broadcasting opportunities have increased and they're going to increase further. We're looking at other opportunities. We have 12 solid institutions. The SWAC trajectory is out of the atmosphere. So we're not going to let anybody come in just for the sake of coming in. You're going to have to bring a whole lot if you want to be a part uh, of what we have going on. We're in a much different position now than even where we were two years ago. So I can never say never, uh, but we will be highly selective. Uh, it's, it's not what it was two or three years ago. It's something totally different. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. That's four sacks in the ball game for the JSU defense here on third down and five for the Panthers from their own 19-yard line. Pass again in the shotgun, empty backfield. Pass, here comes a pressure. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Wow, Silverman is coming in on those tackles, Coach, and it's amazing. You know, Prairie View still has not figured out what's going on with the offensive line. They, they're squeezing this deep offensive tackle when all they need to do is fan it between the tackle and the guard, and they can pick it up. And Jackson State has given Jawan a new name. Jawan, incomplete pass. <laughs> yeah, I told you that. You told me that. Coach. I told you that was yeah, a you new told name. Me. You, you, you did, Coach. Rob, I was pretty impressed with what Coach just said. Did you understand anything that he said? <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> Sounded Rob, good, though. Rob understands. <laughs> <laughs> it's fourth down. The Panthers will kick it away. Back deep is Isaiah Bolden and Warren Newman. is fielded by Newman. He'll fake it to Bolden. Newman at the 40. Newman, he should have kept running. He stopped yeah. his run. He should have kept running. He was brought down at the 45. So it will be Jackson State's ball first and 10 with nine seconds to go here in the first quarter. You know, it's funny you say that, Mr. Commissioner. You know, when Rob and I first started doing this, they would get on me about calling Rob coach and saying coach is too detailed. You remember that, Rob? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> Commissioner, he would say something like, that play was an inside-out run by Grand, uh, Grand Rabbit 9, 9 10, 5, C. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> they, they say he's too detailed. <laughs> so I had to break it down for my uh, slow was like Sam Brown sitting over there in the corner. <laughs> but you do a fine job, Coach. Appreciate it, Coach. All right, Shadour Sanders remains in at quarterback here on first and 10 with nine seconds to go in the first quarter. We're tied at seven. They'll hand it off to Marshall. Marshall squeezing through for a pickup of five, and that will end the first quarter. Okay. Well, Doc, Dr. McClellan, thank you so much for joining us. You know, we can have you here all day, man. You Actually, you know, you could take some. That's the end of the first quarter. <laughs> you know, that's how I got started, actually, as commissioner. I started in radio at Purview. So is that right? That is yeah. absolutely correct. That's how I got my start in athletics. Wow. That's fantastic. Well, whenever you decide to put a young man, a gentleman. Time out. I want to recommend somebody to you. Well, Dr. McClellan, thank you so much. And we thank you so much for the great work you do here in the SWAC, man. And, if, you know, for years, nobody knew what the SWAC was. They know it now. They know it. And we're just yes, starting, sir. Rod. Yes, There's sir. a lot more to come. Yes, sir. Thank, well, thank you, you so you. much. Thank yes, you guys sir. for what you do as well. Absolutely. All right. All right. We'll take a break and come back. This is the Tiger Sports Network.
Bites is something we all hate. But when it comes to your kid's teeth, Mississippi Smiles think prevention is the best defense. 51 million school days are missed each year in the U.S. because of dental issues. And yet, a report by the Mississippi State Department of Health estimated almost 30% of Mississippi kids have not been to the dentist in over a year. The good news is most kids' dental issues are preventable with proper oral hygiene and regular trips to the dentist. Schedule an appointment today at MississippiSmilesDentistry.com. All work performed by All Work per- Mississippi Licensed General Dentists. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way to be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine, to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. Jackson State football brought to you in part by C Spire. C Spire knows that slow is only good for replays. That's why they're investing $1 billion to rapidly expand their ultra-fast fiber internet nationwide 5G network. Learn more at cspire.com. And the second quarter is brought to you by Converge One as a proud sponsor of JSU TV and JSU Tiger Football. They are proven technology solutions that connect people with purpose. That is Converge One, a proud sponsor of JSU TV and JSU Tiger football. I also want to say hello to Jesse Thompson and the JSU Tiger Fund, the official. Fundraising body at Jackson State Athletics. 75 degrees here in Jackson and partly cloudy skies. No rain in the forecast. Our high around 77, partly cloudy tonight with a low of 54 degrees at 403. Time and temperature brought to you by Porter's Insurance, located at 1020 University Boulevard. Give Miss Porter a call at 601-355-8471. Looking at the first quarter stats, Jackson State with four first downs, PBU with five first downs, JSU with uh, 72 yards of total offense to PBU's 91. Shadua Sanders, three of five in the ball game for 35 yards and one touchdown. Jawan Pass, four of 11 for 37 yards. So both teams' defenses have been playing pretty good, Coach. Yeah, they have, Coach. And you look at the third down conversion, Jackson State has to get it going. We're 0 for 2 on third downs, and we really need need to get it going. And when you look at the rush game, Shantae's really getting that thing going now, Coach. At first, we kind of struggle, but we see a little bit different now. Here to start the second quarter, Jackson State near midfield with the ball at the 48-yard line. It is second down and five for the Tigers. Shadour back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Goes deep down the right side. The catch is, oh, it's batted down at the last minute. He was trying to get it to, I think that's Malachi back yeah, there, Coach. That's Wildman, yes, Coach. It was a good throw. He moved out of the pocket, kept two hands on it. He was wide open. Malachi probably should have attacked the football, Coach. That pass incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and six now for the Tigers. Jackson State just shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. We're tied at seven. Shadour connected with Malachi Whiteman, who did not play a couple of weeks ago. Here's Shadour taking the snap from the shotgun, fires it. And it is incomplete. He was looking for Whiteman again around the 40-yard line, but it was broken up, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, just threw a curl route and just missed him with that coat. Uh, looked like the receiver may have slipped coming out of that play. All right, Jamie, so that drive ends after four plays. Yeah, with start off as promising as, you know, turn it, turned into a punt for the Tigers. PB not... Uh, not too efficient on punt returns. They're ranked last in the conference on punt returns. There's the kick. A fair catch is signal by Mullins at the 18-yard line. Just underway here in the second quarter. We're tied at seven. Nice crowd here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Jackson State football this season brought to you in part by Blackwell Family Foot Care. Blackwell Family Foot Care, your BFF, can handle all of your care 
foot care needs from heel pain to ingrown toenails, corns, calluses, hammer time in your toes, also known as hammer toe, diabetic foot care and wounds. They're located at 1815 Hospital Drive, Suite 301 in Jackson. That's Blackwell Family Foot Care. You you okay with, with your, your feet there, Coach? Yes, sir, Coach. Okay, Coach. You were kind of Palmer housing when I saw you the last yeah, time. Yeah, that gout kicked in, Coach. It kicked in? Wasn't eating right. Okay. Well, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have tried all kind of foods. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first down to 10. Pass. Hit as he throws. Going down the right side. Incomplete. Good coverage back there by Dejon Warren. Yeah, Coach. I, that was great coverage by Warren. But I think I think the safety went the wrong way. They left a guy going right up the seam right there, Coach. Second down for the Panthers from their own 18-yard line. We're tied at 7 here in the second quarter. Jawan passed the quarterback. He's the third best quarterback in the conference behind Shador Sanders and Aquil Glass of Alabama A&M. They'll run it this time, and Keontae Hampton is there to say no, no. He gets no yards on that play. Yeah, Keontae came off of that block. Coach just made a heck of a play. Third down now for the Panthers. Big third down for the Jackson State defense. JSU in their blue jerseys. White numbers, solid blue pants, the blue helmets with the JSU logo on one side and the number of the player on the other side of the helmet, along with the white face mask. PBU in all white with the gold numbers and the chrome gold helmets, which look really good. Pass in the shotgun on third and long. Here comes the pressure. Pass throws it away, and it's incomplete. Boy, he saw <laughs> He saw one of those big linebackers coming at him. He saw Khalil Arrington at him and pass it. I'm just going to throw this away, man. Yeah, that was a great job by the defensive backs, Coach, because they were actually trying to set up a screen to that side. And those defensive backs blew it up over there. That was a heck of a play. So Warren Newman is back to receive this. He is the second best punt returner in the league. And you say, why second? I thought he was first. But Jamari Charade of FAMU leads the swag in punt returns. But Warren Newman has the longest return for a touchdown this season at 81 yards. He did that in the Southern Heritage Classic. Oh, this is a terrible kick. He may as well have gone for it. Yeah, he may as well have coached him. What they were trying to do, he was trying to set up something to kick it out of bounds. <laughs> but he hurt himself doing it. <laughs> Jamie, he tried to do something slick. <laughs> yeah, it actually went off the side of his foot. When he when it came off his foot, you can tell that he, he didn't do that right. All right. 13 40 to go here in the second quarter. We're tied at 7. We'll be back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. <laughs> Jackson State football this season brought to you in part by Zaxby's, also Wendy's, Skelly's Furniture, Pizza Hut, Cadillac of Jackson, Richard Schwartz, as well as the JSU Tiger Fund. 13.40 to go here in the second quarter. Let's check in now with Jamie Horton and our Skelly sideline report. 
Well, well, Rob, all I can say is that Little Willie did his job with you earlier. He's down here doing his job on this sideline. He's getting all these guys away that don't have the right credentials, which was a lot at first. And one of the guys apparently got real upset with Little Willie. Little Willie said, well, you like have to go to home, but you got to get some ball back here. <laughs> Well, you low down. <laughs> well, you know, let me come in. let you me commend Lil Willie while he's still alive, cause he's gonna he's gonna tell the wrong person they got a pass. But yeah. I want to commend Lil Willie for the way he helped us get in the stadium today. We had a we had a highway patrol escort. Thanks to Lil Willie. Yeah, he did. He got us in. Bro. He got us in. Bro. He sure did. But the SWAC is doing a real good job of getting people off the sideline that that do not belong down here. So That's if you don't right. have the right credentials, you have to go. That's wonderful, man, because, you know, we're down there working. Nobody's down there playing, and exactly. we're down there working. And, and sometimes the people that's down there just want to watch a game in the way. In the way, Coach. And, and Coach, how can I, – I don't if, – if I wasn't doing this, I would not want to be on the field. You can't watch a game from the field. No, and, and they want to come talk to you, Coach, like, <laughs> especially when we're up here in this booth. Yes, and while I'm <laughs> on the sideline also. First down for Jackson State at the PB 37. They'll hand it off to Peyton Pickett. Pickett inside the 30, and he's brought down at the Panthers 25. It's a 12-yard gain and a first down for the Tigers, brought to you by Pizza Hut. That's a good job. Pickett just got downhill. Coach Taylor's trying to tempo the offense to get back in that rhythm that they were in, and I think that's what he needs right now. Jackson State at the Panthers 25-yard line. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. You got Pickett standing in the backfield with Shadour Sanders. On first and 10, Shador in the shotgun. He wears number two for the Tigers. He's the freshman of the year in the SWAC this year. He'll give it again to Pickett. Pickett inside the 20. Pickett still on his feet. Inside the 10. Breaks a tackle down to the seven-yard line. Good job of just running that zone. The offensive line created a new line of scrimmage. Pickett did that jump cut and got on through there, Coach. Jackson State now in the Penn Street red zone. As they have it at the Panthers, seven. Shadour Sanders in the shotgun here on first down and goal. 12.32 to go. <laughs> Shadour will again hand it to Pickett. Pickett trying to go into the teeth of that defense as he's brought down for a short game. Mississippi Valley really ran through the PB defense last week, Coach. They did, Coach. I mean, they really got off that ball and got after him. And Jackson State is trying to get that run game going, in which is you're going to have to get that run game going, and Coach understands that. It sets up so many other things that you can do. Second down and goal for Jackson State at the PB seven-yard line. We're tied at seven here in the second quarter. Under 12 minutes to play. Jackson State trying to take the lead for the first time in the ball game. Pickett standing to Shadour's right shoulder. Here's a snap. The throw, the catch is made by Corbin inside the five, and he's pushed out of bounds at the three-yard line. Just try to throw that quick out to Corbin. To try to get him in that end zone, Coach. This is a big series, a big down right here for us, Coach. Third down and goal for Jackson State from the Panthers' four-yard line. Jackson State looking to take its first lead of the ball game. Kylan Ritchie, the big tight end in the game now for Jackson State. Two receivers to the right. Pickett standing to Shadour's right shoulder. Third and goal. Shadour in the shotgun, takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws. Corbin is open, is intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone by Darius Campbell. He was trying to get it to Corbin, who I don't know if he saw it or not. Yeah, it was, it was on the throne, Coach. He ran right in front of it. He should have thrown it a little bit more over the top show, top outside shoulder, and Corbin just stepped in the middle of it. Wow, Jamie, what a loss yeah. opportunity for the time. Time out. <laughs> Clearly would have been a touchdown. Nobody else was back there. But the tempo of Jackson State offense, you got some promising out of that, though. Now we can go back and continue to pick the tempo up and get them in a rhythm. They play so much better when they're in their own rhythm. 10.55 to go. We uh, take a timeout. Jackson State 7, PB7. This is the Tiger Sports Network.
accidents is something we all hate. But when it comes to your kids' teeth, Mississippi Smiles think prevention is the best defense. 51 million school days are missed each year in the U.S. because of dental issues. And yet, a report by the Mississippi State Department of Health estimated almost 30% of Mississippi kids have not been to the dentist in over a year. The good news is most kids' dental issues are preventable with proper oral hygiene and regular trips to the dentist. Schedule an appointment today at MississippiSmilesDentistry.com. All work performed by Mississippi Licensed General Dentists. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way. To be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. Ten fifty-five to go here in the second quarter. We're tied at seven. Jackson State's drive ended in the end zone as PV intercepted Shadour Sanders' pass. That was a five-play drive that started at the PV 37-yard line. That drive brought to you by Riverbend Tire Center. Don't drive on bad tires. Visit Riverbend Tires at 601-933-9799 or riverbendtirecenter.com. Come. Coach, uh, that was a heartbreaking drive to end with. You get no points after you drive it inside the 10-yard line. Yeah, it was, Coach. And he just was just slightly un underthrew him that time, Coach. And, um, and you don't you don't see that much that you don't see it that often um, from Sanders, Coach. That's real. <laughs> 10:55 to go. Let's uh, check in now with Jamie Horton and on the Skelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob, the offensive coaches along with offense coordinator T.C. Taylor, Shador, just don't worry about it. Check it off. Got a lot of thing. Don't worry about it. Let's just move series. So first down for the Panthers. From their own 20-yard line, Jawan Pass remains in at quarterback. He's in the shotgun. Three receivers in the game, two to his right, one to his left. He got a back standing to his right shoulder. PV in their white jerseys, gold numbers, white pants, gold stripe. PV will hand it off on first down. Wow, Aubrey Miller knocks yeah. him down after a gain of about two. Yeah, you have Owens grab the legs, and Miller came from the other side with him, Coach. And Aubrey Miller knocked him to the turf there, Coach. Yeah. If somebody hit me like that, Coach, after I, I call the police, I'm going to go get a baseball bat. First of all, yeah. you're going to be knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> after well, I put that smelling salt in your nose, Whenever you be I, like, where'd he go? Whenever I get up, I'm going to say who did it. <laughs> then I ask Omar Johnson for a bat. Second down and eight. Pass. Has time. Throws across the middle. It's, oh, it's almost intercepted by Shiloh, and it was caught by the Panthers at the Jackson State 35. Yeah, Coach, I mean, right now, Coach, this is what you call period luck. Two people were on him. The ball was in Sanders' hands, and it looked like he just – it went to the defender's hand. You are absolutely correct, Coach. It was in his hands. Now PV on first down will run it for a five-yard gain to the 30. That was almost intercepted. I think Shiloh was trying to be we get some style points out of that interception. Yeah, there. he it was to the corner at his highest point, Coach. Yeah. So it is second down and six. PB trying to run it outside, but Keontae Hampton is there to make the tackle, bringing up third down after that short game. I tell you what, Keontae Hampton has been all over the field, Coach. This is the fastest I've seen him play, Coach, since the – in a while. He is all over the field. Yeah. Well, he came here some lean years for Jackson State. Now he's won a championship yeah. on the eastern side, and he's excited about it. So it's third down and six – for the Panthers at the Jackson State 30-yard line. We are tied at seven here in the second quarter. Pass again in the shotgun. They have trips to the right. Pass. Back to throw. Steps up now. He's going to run it and pick up the first down as he takes it inside the 20, and he's flipped down at the 18. PV went tight end left, three receivers right. Ran the tight end up the scene, let the running back chase him. 
all the defenders were gone, and he just pulled it down and ran behind the running back. This is the fifth play of the drive for the Panthers. It started back at their own 20-yard line. They will run it again, and this time nothing up that middle. Yeah, the big Owens was there yeah, to stop it. Yeah, Big Owens, he's a big, a big man. What would they say, big man? Yeah, he's 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 big old man, coach. <laughs> big old Owens, number ninety nine. Yeah, and see that ninety nine makes him look like a big old boy. Oh, uh, cool. he's a big old boy. Cool. He's a transfer from Georgia Tech, 6'4", 290 pounds of man. <laughs> How you spell that, coach? M A N E. <laughs> I know you had your own way of spelling it, coach. They'll hand it off again. Ooh, Ooh. James Houston, coach. Houston tackles him for yeah. a loss. Houston has more tackles for losses in the SWAC than anybody else. Yeah, Coach, and this is where Jackson State defense get tough because if you look at it, uh, Priv hasn't really done anything but a trick play. Yeah. And that trick play worked. <laughs> third down and 11 for the Panthers. Make it third and 12 from the Jackson State 21-yard line. Jawan passed the quarterback in the shotgun. And he's in trouble again, and he's going to be brought down by James Houston. And he wasn't sacked, so he did gain about a yard to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down now. Yeah, James Houston just flushed him out of the pocket and made the tackle. So P yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. It looks like they're going to go for the field goal right here. Well, PV coming into this game, they're ranked third in the league, and field goal kicking. They're 12 or 14. The longest by Luis Reyes is 34 yards. This will be a 32 yarder. I'm sorry, a 36 yarder. There's a snap. Ball placed down. The kick is up and it is good. And PV reclaims the lead at 10-7 with 6.36 to go. Timeout. Right. 6.38 to go. 6.38 to go here in the second quarter. PV has recaptured the lead at 10-7. Jackson State football this season brought to you by Bolden Body Shop. It's your complete one-stop shop for all your collision repair needs. They have served the Jackson area for over 40 years. Call 601-355-3484. It's your vehicle. It's your choice. Choose Bolden Body Shop. Rob J., Daryl Asbury, Sam Brown, and Jamie Horton bringing you the play-by-play -play story. We'll hear from Coach Prime uh, at the half. Jackson State trailing 10 to 7 coach and what has uh, what is Prairie View doing that's causing JSU trouble well coach every you know you notice they're not making a whole lot of big plays but on third down the quarterback is pulling that ball down running and it's keeping the chains moving so they're, they're gonna have to make a few adjustments on there and the defensive ends are gonna probably have to stop running by that, that quarterback I'm sure coach prime will get to the half and make some adjustments and you'll see a totally different football team but the key is offensively, we got to get something going. We're shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean, defense is playing great football, but we have to pick it up offensively. we not converting on third downs. If we don't get a big play, we don't have a lot of success. All right, I'd like to say hello to Mass Communication students. student Diamond. Diamond is uh, joining us in the booth. Diamond is a student 
a journalism student at JSU. She played on the basketball team a year ago, and she's a transfer from Wichita. Okay. Yeah, and I asked her, what NFL team do they root for in Wichita? She said, none. I said, wait a minute. Wichita is <laughs> close to you know who. Wichita is close to you know who, the Super Bowl champs. And she said, nobody, they don't root for anybody in Wichita. That's a good decision for, for which people. That's Is that a good right? decision, yeah. So now, who do you root for in the NFL? Tampa Bay, Tom Brady. So if Tom Brady went to the Detroit Lions, you root for Detroit Lions? Uh, he twisted my arm, not Coach. Is that right? I might go back to my Patriots. Well, Coach, what is it about Tom Brady that you like so much? He's a winner, Coach. No, 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 he's a cheater. No, he's a winner. <laughs> Has he ever got caught? They deflated the football. Yes, yes. They, he threw his phone caught. away, and then he spied he on somebody. He just cheats. Did they get caught? The best quarterback ever, I think, maybe Joe Montana. Hey, I heard a college coach say this, and I'm not going to call his name. Mm. He said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> PB will kick it off. Isaiah Bolden at the 40. Bolden across midfield. He's still on his feet. Bolden at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jackson State. He's the best kick returner in the SWAC, and he has given Jackson State the lead. He did that, Coach. And I mean, it was a good sideline return, and Jackson State executed it perfectly, Coach, on that one. Great return, great big play. Wow, Jamie, what a run by Isaiah Bolden. Yes, and I thought he was going to get knocked out of bounds around the, like the 40, but great run by Bolden. And, uh, he turned on the Jets on that one. Isaiah Bolden, the best kick returner in the conference. He averages 33 yards a return. His longest return was 94 yards for a touchdown, and he has his second kick return of the year for a touchdown, and Jackson State has the lead. The point after is no good. We'll be back after that. This is attorney Richard Schwartz. Me and my entire staff are dedicated to helping our Mississippi neighbors get the most money they deserve after a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck. You know the insurance company is not on your side. That's why it's important to get your attorney working for you right away. It's always free to talk to us, so the only thing you got to remember is one call, that's all. Call me, Richard Schwartz, at 601-988-9888. Or visit us online at onecall.ms. JSU welcomes Porter's Insurance as a proud sponsor of JSU Athletics. For all of your insurance needs, turn to a friend indeed. Porter's Insurance, located at 1020 University Boulevard, formerly known as Terry Road, offers protection coverage for all of your needs. Porter's has affordable comprehensive coverage for your home, car, life, health, and accident and commercial business needs. Learn more about Porter's Insurance at portersinsurance.com. Porter's Insurance and JSU, partners in our community. Jackson State takes the lead on a 73-yard kickoff return, but the point after was no good, and the Tigers lead at 13-10. JSU will kick it off, and PV won't return it. Jackson State, though, Coach, they're among the best when it comes to kicking off, but they're among the worst coming to kicking field goals. How does that happen? I don't know, Coach. Uh, I was just about to look on the roster and see was that the same guy kicking off. I mean, yeah. All right, first down for the Panthers. Jawan pass. Back to throw. And it is incomplete, almost intercepted. I was about to ask if your son got a box of Zaxby's, but I looked, he, he like father, like son. <laughs> I, did, I was about to ask if, you know, we've just been presented some Zaxby's, and I was about to ask your That's son. Like, I don't need no blood test. <laughs> no, you sure don't. Yeah, the head sideways. It, it, no his head is buried in the box. Okay, on second down, pass is sacked again. This is the fifth sack. A pass in this ball game. That's Aubrey Miller on the sack for the Tigers. Yeah, Aubrey pass tried to pull that thing down and run, but Aubrey Miller on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. So it's third down and long now. That was a five-yard loss on that sack. For Jackson State, pass in the shotgun, third down and long from the Panthers' own 21-yard line. They're moving the ball from left to right. It's third and 14. Under six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jackson State 13, Prairie View 10. Pass again, back to throw, and he's got a man open. He just overthrew him. Wow, that would have been a touchdown, Coach. Yeah. Pass just overthrew him. Yeah, he was trying to get up top on C.J. Holmes. Well, wasn't trying to. He did get up top on C.J. Holmes, and um, pass just overthrew him, like you said. Can I ask who brought me? That's for your sandwich. Okay, everybody has a box of Zaxby, and they bring me a bowl of pickles. What I'm supposed to do with this? No, you got a box Brian. down there. Oh, Brown. Okay, I'm sorry, Brown. Brown had me a box. I apologize. Okay, now here we go. We you got Bolden and you have Newman. Warren Newman back deep to <laughs> pick, receive this punt. Pick your poison. Yeah, pick your poison. <laughs> There's a kick. Ooh. It's a high kick, and it's fielded by Newman, and he's going to give it to Bolden. <laughs> Bolden at the 35, 40. Bolden is brought down just shy of midfield. So a little razzle dazzle by Jackson State. Yeah, coach, you pick your pause on which one you want to do. Timeout. All right, we have another timeout on the field. I'm just going to sit here and watch you eat, round eat, diamond eat, and your sound eat. This, <laughs> Jamie, you should well, see this. I, I, I tell you what, Jamie. He's going to get a show then if he's going to watch this. It's a show. I'll be putting it back. <laughs> State football brought to you in part by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is now hiring delivery drivers for the Canton, Ridgeland, Gluckstadt, Spillway Road, and I-55 Northside restaurant locations with a $500 signing bonus incentive for a limited time only. Just text the word HUT to 242424 or jobs.pizzahut.com. And this year, make a tax-deductible contribution that can change a life. Every day, the American Red Cross helps thousands of people. Providing emergency relief, emotional support, and essential care to families in need. The American Red Cross depends on your end-of-year donations to do this critical work. Donate to the American Red Cross before midnight, December 31st, and help them bring hope to a family with nowhere else to turn. Visit redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make a donation that will change someone's life. 5-14 to go before the half. Jackson State with a 13-10 lead, but a nice punt return by Isaiah Bolden near midfield, and Jackson State will have it first down and 10 as the Tigers look to add to their lead. A nice crowd here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. We're looking at a low tonight of around, uh, I think our low tonight, we're expecting a low of about 55 degrees, maybe, in the upper 50s. Oh, that's not cold. All under clear skies? Absolutely not. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I will be back home <laughs> in, the, in the heat. <laughs> oh, yeah? It was real cold last night. Jackson. <laughs> the time and temperature. Brought to you by Porter's Insurance, 1020 University Boulevard. Give Miss Porter a call at 601-355-8471. She is a big, big supporter of Jackson State football through the years, along with her late husband, Richard Porter. First down for Jackson State. Moving the ball from right to left from their own 46-yard line. Shador Sanders remains in at quarterback. 
He's in the shotgun, takes a snap, hands it to Peyton Pickett. Pickett trying to find his hole up the middle and is brought down after a pickup of two yards. Just ran that power to Jackson State sideline, pulled that backside guard and wrapped him around and just trying to pound that thing inside. They're going to say it was a gain of four yards yeah. to midfield. So Jackson State right at the 50-yard line. Shadour in the shotgun. Oh, and <laughs> PB player just knocked over a Jackson State offensive lineman. Flags come in, and here's a Richard Schwartz. You make the call. Wow. PB player pointed at Jackson State offensive lineman. Gibbs, and he was drawing off False start oh, offense. Number 50. Five-yard penalty. Second down. It's Caleb Graham from Terry High School committing that false start. It's going to push Jackson State back five yards. I tell you, Jackson has been doing a good job with his penalties this game, though, Coach. Yes, sir. Jackson State now at its own 45-yard line. It's going to be second down and 11 for the Tigers. Clock moving, 4.30 to go here in the second quarter. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Four seconds on the play clock. Down to three, down to two, and Shadour has to call a timeout. Beautiful day for a football game. Jackson State football. Timeout. Jackson State. Their second. 30 second timeout. So Jackson State football brought to you by Zaxby's. And if you listen real closely, you could hear the chewing in the press box from <laughs> Sam Brown, <laughs> Daryl Asbury, I took a break. Diamond, and his son. Hey, wow. I, it's out, it sounds like I'm at a popcorn factory. Uh, is it like church up there? <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you should see the mouths moving, but I, no words coming Jamie out. Don't fall, man. Jamie don't fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to steal my cookie, Jamie, but it won't happen today. <laughs> okay, Brown gave me his. I gave you my cookie earlier, too. Yeah, I sure so appreciate that, too, Jamie. Second. <laughs> Coach, I don't know how you. <laughs> Second down and 11. Shadour in trouble. Now he throws underneath. The catch is made by Pickett. Pickett at midfield. Pickett runs out of bounds on the far side. A nice gain on the play of about nine yards, but he's going to be maybe two yards shy of the first down. Just ran a, a running back swing and picked up those yards right there, Coach, down. Now you just need two yards to get the first down to keep those chains moving. Well, it's, it's longer than that, okay, third and yeah, four. Yeah, now I'm saying third and four. Okay, so they have it on PV side of the field at the PV 48. And I think Dooley is going to call a timeout here. Timeout. Prairie View. Their third. 30-second timeout. You know, this – the the – School Prairie View, they, they, there's a lot of pronunciations for this name. You know, uh, Charles Edmund at Alcorn, he refers to it as Prairie View. <laughs> uh, the the announcers from Valley, they refer to it as Prairie View. Prairie. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> What's the correct pronunciation, then, it's, uh, Jamie? It's, it's, it's Hello? Prairie. <laughs> Prairie. <laughs> Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> that Jamie, Jamie said that Brown, that Brown, that Brown, messing with you, Jamie. Jamie <laughs> yeah, Brown said, Jamie said, <laughs> Prairie. It is Prairie View. So third down for the Tigers out of the timeout with 3.47 to go. Third and four for Jackson State at the PV 48 yard line. We just call him PV. Code. Yeah, that's yeah. easy. That's real easy. <laughs> All right, here's Shadour in the shotgun, takes the snap. Here comes the pressure, and he's sacked. Back at the 40-yard line. What a big play by the PV defense. Yeah, that's that Dumas again, Coach. That's the one we talked about in our pregame show. Jason Dumas. Yeah, he's about 5'11", Coach. But he packs a big play. That's what I was mostly worried about. He's a good front. football player, Coach. Yeah, he is. 5'10", 230 pounds. He's a junior, so he'll be back next year causing havoc in the swag. So JSU will punt it away. But the good thing about this, PV ranked last in punt returns this season.
Rayborn to punt it away. Gets off a good kick. Wow. Driving Mullins back to the 15. He's not going to get much there because he's brought down at the 23-yard line. That's one area of this team that PB uh, needs a little bit of work on, and that's returning kicks and returning punts. He had nobody back here to block for him, Coach. I mean, absolutely nobody. Yeah. He was on a suicide mission. Do you ever consider being a, a punt returner, Coach? No, sir. Negative, Coach. You did? So you always wanted to be a quarterback? A quarterback. Yeah, that was it. Were you ever in any other position coming up? To the, when I went to the CFL, they moved me to wide receiver. Okay. Yeah, I never played it, but I had to learn if I wanted to feed my family. Okay. So, yeah. PB, first down at its own 23-yard line. They will hand it off. And Aubrey, oh, ooh, ooh, he's he's vicious, Coach. Aubrey Miller just planted him into the ground. Yeah, Coach, he just planted him. Yeah, he don't ever need a funeral. So he already had it. <laughs> <laughs> Got a chance to see his dad out front when I was coming in, Coach. He ripped up just like him, Coach. Good night. Aubrey Miller just put him right into the ground. No gain. Second down and 10. 2.25 to go. Clock moving here in the second quarter. Josh pass. Jason pass. Back to throw. Jawan pass, rather. He's in trouble. Pass. Gets out of a sack, and he is hit and brought down after taking it across the 30-yard line. I think that's Antoine Owens making the tackle. No, that was Aubrey Miller, Coach. Miller? He, yeah, he came out of bounds. He's out of the game on that one, Coach, like his shoulder. So it's going to be third down and short for the Panthers. Under two minutes to play here in the second quarter. Third and one for PV at its own 32-yard line. Prairie View moving the ball from left to right. Jackson State 13, PV 10. Hoping that missed extra point by Jackson State doesn't come back to haunt him. Perry Butte. Oh, did he get the first down? I don't know. The one at the top looked like he's trying to give it to him, but this guy at the bottom. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. Good job by the Jackson State defense to stop him right at the point of attack, but it's going to be first down and 10 for the Panthers at their 33-yard line. In the backfield with pass is Ahmad Antoine. He's a 5'10 sophomore from Port Sulphur, Louisiana. He'll be standing to pass his left shoulder. Pass will hand it to Antoine, and he is stopped. James Houston, Houston. they call him the problem. Yeah, he is, he is that. That's his name. That was a good job coming off that backside, stopping that running back before it got started. There's no way we can keep James Houston here another year, Coach? No, Coach. You don't want the NCAA up in here. Well, Coach, I mean, you, you worked with some guys who knew how to do some tricks. Yeah, like that. Nah. <laughs> I'm you not going to let you tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of things, but that's not one of them. <laughs> Second and long for PB. Pass down the right side. It's intercepted this time. It was overthrown and picked off. Can't tell who that Silver, was. Coach, that's that's Silver. Silver. That's Silver. Silver. Yes. Yeah. That's his second pick of the day. And if he would have stayed on his feet, guys, he had number green grass in front of him. It would have been a touchdown. Absolutely correct. Wow. This guy is going to be here four years, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> man, he's, he's a, a good football player, man. Cameron Silman Craig, the freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. Coach, would you uh do a Hail Mary or two? Would you go for it? 23 seconds to go before the half. What do you do here, Coach? Uh, I would get out of here, Coach. Get out of the half, go in and make some adjustments. But that's just me. I wouldn't want to take a chance of throwing the interception probably and, and turn it over into an uh, interception for a touchdown. Prairie View can't stop the clock. They have no more timeouts. Jackson State has it at its own 41. Shadur has a strong arm, so. They're going to do something here because they have three receivers to the right, one to the left with 23 seconds to go. Jackson State. Shadour steps up, fires across the middle. The catch is made at the 40. And the clock stops with the first down. Rucker making the catch for the first down, which is brought to you by Pizza Hut. 14 seconds to go. Yeah, the Rucker made a heck of a catch right there. Jackson State at the PV 40-yard line, and the Tigers. Jackson State, their third. So what do you do here, Coach? Well, I mean, you got the first down. You may as well go ahead now and take a shot at it. 14 seconds. 
see if you could get it in field goal range and or a touchdown. And I know a lot of fans asking, how is Jackson State having so much trouble with this team when Mississippi Valley just ran through this same team last week? Yeah, well, it's a championship game now, Coach. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot at stake right now. And uh, you're talking about two teams that won it, and both defenses are playing pretty good football tonight. So Jackson State has it now at the Prairie View 40-yard line with 14 seconds to go before the half. The Tigers lead it 13-10. This is the Cricket Wireless SWAC Championship game. The winner of this will play in the Celebration Bowl December 18th in Atlanta against South Carolina State. Four receivers in the game for Jackson State. Two to the right, two to the left. Shadour Sanders in the shotgun. Pick it to his right. Shadour takes a snap. Here comes the pressure. Shadour with time. Throws, and it is incomplete with seven seconds left in the second quarter. Yeah, look, he wanted to scramble to his right, but that pressure uh, was up in his face to the right-hand side, coaching. Being a smart quarterback, just threw it out of bounds. All right, so what do you do here? Hail Mary, Coach? Second down and uh, 10, <laughs> seven. So this should be the last play of the this, game. It, oh, it oh, will oh, be. Not the game in yeah. the first half. All right, let's see what happens here, Coach. Shadour again in the shotgun, and they'll just hand it off to Pickett. Jackson State being safe. Fans didn't like it, and that will yeah. end the first half of play. Jackson State 13, PVU 10. We're going to go down on the field and hear from Coach Prime headed to the half. So it's been an eventful first half, but let's go down on the field now with Coach Prime. I think the first obligation is ESPN, if I'm not mistaken, that coach. So he's talking to ESPN, ESPN broadcasters. So, so you can't right stick your mic in while he's talking. Yeah, you him. really can. And I would. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, I, I would stick my mic in that coach. I, I've done it before in, in my career. And they didn't tell you nothing. No, they, didn't, they didn't open their mouth. That's why you're a Hall of Famer, baby. Yeah, tell them, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Tiger Nation, 13-10. We're up. It's like championship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not where we want to be. We, we should be better than this. Our defense are playing um, like they normally play, offensive, lethargic. We got we, we, we to gotta get something going. The, the pass the game, the running game, something. We got to have some type of consistency. Thank God for special teams. Looks like we gave up a score on lack of discipline. Uh, yeah. They went over the top of us. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we, we have no business starting interceptions down there. Let's just be physical and try to score. If it's one yard line, we go for it, or we kick the field goal. Now we're now we up by three. What's your message at halftime? Uh, we got to finish. We got to complete the sentence. And bull rush, and he grabbed him. Yeah. Neely, thank you, Coach. All right. We will come back with our Mississippi State Medical oh, Association yeah. halftime show. Again, at the half, Jackson State 13. Prairie View 10. This is the Tiger Sports Network. Wake up to Wendy's and get a bacon or sausage egg and Swiss breakfast croissant for just $1.99. Made with fresh cracked eggs and served on a hot buttery croissant that's fluffy enough to sleep on. It's time no, 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 And we're back at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. The Prairie View marching band on the field here at the half. Jackson State leading 13 to 10. Coach, your overall assessments of the first half. Well, listening to Coach uh, Prime at the half, I agree with what he said. Line up, 
try to get physical down there, put your tight end in the game, and try to punch it in and bang down there. You're on the one or two yard line, you know, and, and that's something that I haven't seen all year, but you have a big tight end. Get physical down there and let's go ahead and punch it in. The other thing is defensively, they're playing great football, lights out. So you're gonna, it's gonna come down to what offense is gonna get started first and how we're gonna finish the ball game. On the field again, the Prairie View Marching Band. They have an excellent marching band. I know a lot of fans here don't get to see PB's band, but they have an excellent drum line. Uh, I think they have one of the best drum lines in the country, and they highlight that uh, during their little segment at halftime, Coach. Yeah, I, I noticed them in the stands, Coach. They really, I guess they can really play t together as one, you know? Yeah, and they play off each other. I mean, it, it, it's a remarkable show. So a lot of JSU fans never get to see the PB Marching Band because they don't come, when they come here, they don't bring the band. But this is a SWAC championship game, so they had to do it. So, Coach, we're one half away from reaching the Celebration Bowl. What can we do to get there, Coach? Coach, we're going to have to get some offense going because what's happening now is defensively, both defenses are playing well. Somebody's going to, Jackson State is going to have to get some offense going and get in a rhythm. Look like when we speed the tempo up, we found a rhythm. But when we sit back and play off, relax and cool, we don't get any, any success that way. So at the half, Jackson State 13, PBU 10. Let's take a listen now at the Prairie View A&M Marching Band.
we're at halftime once again. Jackson State leading Prairie View by a score of 13-10. We'll be back with more halftime festivities on the Jackson State Tiger Network. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way to be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. Make your home merrier this Christmas. Miss Kelly's has thousands of products in stock and ready for you. Plus, with no money down financing and savings up to $300, we're furnishing happiness for the holidays. A new bedroom, a roomier dining set, or more seating in the family room. There's plenty to choose from on our website or in our showrooms. Then pick it up or have it delivered, and your furniture will arrive before Santa. Make this Christmas your merriest at Miss Kelly's. Welcome back to halftime. Our score, Jackson State 13, Prairie View 10. We're now getting ready for the sights and sounds of the sonic boom of the South, the Jackson State University Marching Band.
wrapping up halftime. Jackson State leading Prairie View 13-10. We'll be back with the start of the second half after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way to be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. Make your home merrier this Christmas. Miss Kelly's has thousands of products in stock and ready for you. Plus, with no money down financing and savings up to $300, we're furnishing happiness for the holidays. A new bedroom, a roomier dining set, or more seating in the family room. There's plenty to choose from on our website or in our showrooms. Then pick it up or have it delivered, and your furniture will arrive before Santa. Make this Christmas your merriest at Miss Kelly's. Back at the Mississippi State Medical Association Halftime Report. Jackson State Football Halftime Show is brought to you by the Mississippi State Medical Association. MSMA encourages everyone to protect Mississippi by getting vaccinated. To learn more, go to the msway.com. Check, 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 check. All right, Coach, uh, Jackson State leading 13-10 at the half, and you seem to think that they need more offense to get that offense going. Yeah, Coach, and I, and I, and I think after the, the halftime conversation, that the motivational talk that Coach Prime gave them, I'm sure you'll see a different offense uh, that comes out. And defense is playing well, but what, what, what eventually catches up with us as defensive players and defensive coaches is those three and outs, three and outs. Yeah. It continues to wear us down, but – um, you got to be able to get that defense, that offense going. And Jackson State would get the ball first to start the third quarter, which is also a good sign for the JSU Tigers. PBU started the scoring with a little razzle-dazzle, a 35-yard touchdown pass from Ty Holden to Jalen Howard. It was, a, I guess, a, a screen pass to, yeah. to Ty Holden, and he, he passed it to Jalen Howard for the touchdown. And uh, PB would score on a trick play to yeah. take the lead. And they haven't had much offense after that, Coach. It's just been that one trick play. You know, my, my rule on trick plays, when you go to grab for trick plays, you, you, you're scrapping for straws. Then. Is that right, Coach? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, they, they haven't been able to reach any more straws, Coach. Yeah. Because <laughs> See them, that's what I'm saying. Jackson State scored on a Malachi Weidman 16-yard pass from Shadua Sanders. Good to see Malachi back. Yeah. after being suspended during that last game against Alcorn. And then a punt return, a kickoff rather, a kickoff return for Jackson State by Isaiah Bolden. He is amazing, man. Can he go to the league returning kicks like that, Coach? Yeah, Coach. They, they looking for guys like that all the time, Coach, because special teams is a third of the game, Coach. So, you know, you really have to understand what's going on. And uh, now it's the time for us to strike as an offensive unit. All right, and he'll get another opportunity because we are underway here in the third quarter. And this kick is fielded at the 10. He's up to the 15, 20, and knocked down on the return for Jackson State. It's Allah Brown, the freshman from Valdosta, Georgia, played at Valdosta High School. So it is first down and 10 for Jackson State as the third quarter is underway here in the Cricket Wireless SWAC championship game. I tell you, Coach, it's still a beautiful night. The sky has really set, and the fans are still here and look like they're just waiting on a big play to erupt, Coach. All right, first down for the Tigers. Shadour Sanders remains in at quarterback for JSU, operating from left to right. Jackson State in their blue jerseys, white numbers, solid blue pants, blue helmets with the JSU logo. They will hand it off to Pickett, and Pickett tries to run around that right side, and he is – dropped after a four-yard gain to the 25-yard line. Yeah, because he's trying, looked like he was trying to run a little outside stretch play, uh, which they call outside zone. 
He ran out of real estate and tried to cut back into all that pursuit. Second down for the Tigers from their own 25 yard line. Jackson State leading 13 10. They pitch it out to Pickett again, and Pickett takes it across the 30 and is brought down at the 31, bringing up third down and short for the Tigers. Ran a little tall sweep that time, and uh, Pickett got down behind those shoulder pads and, and tried to get that first down. He came up short. Two yards short, in fact. Third down for Jackson State, third and two from the 30 yard line. They'll give it to Pickett again, and this time he picks up the first down and has more as he takes it across the 35, and that first down brought to you by Pizza Hut. Yeah, it looked like the offense, Coach Prime, went in and challenged those offensive linemen. Jackson State with a no-huddle offense. They're trying to keep that PB defense off balance, and they give it to Pickett again, and a late flag comes in after that five-yard gain by Pickett. Yeah, I, you can tell, Coach, that they're – Right now, it's, hey, I want to just straight pound the football. And you can tell they have been challenged in that locker room. It looks like they're trying their best to answer the bell. All right, let's check in with Jamie Horton here on this penalty call. Well, Rob, I think Coach was in the locker room because he just nailed everything right on the head about what Coach Prime wants them to do. Illegal substitution, to, uh, defense. More than 11 players on the field. So, so Five-yard penalty, first down. That's Richard Schwartz. You make the call. Uh, too many men on the field for PB. Yeah. <laughs> or as the, oh. as the Mississippi Valley announcers would say, too many men on the field, Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lead him. I'm going to make him pay. I'm going to lead him. I'm going to lead him. That was my friends, good friends, man. They were good friends. <laughs> so it's first down for Jackson State. First down for the Tigers. They give it to Sante Marshall, and there's a flag coming in. Way in the backfield. Yeah, that's normally holding. And Jackson actually did pretty good. Holding. Offense. Number 74. 10 yard penalty. First down. That's Tony Gray. Tony Gray. And actually, Jackson did pretty good in that first half with those penalties, coach. But here's what I don't understand, Coach. How do they get the drone in the stadium if they're searching you at the gate? I think the drone comes in. The, the, the band um, officials use a drone for both schools, and I, I guess whoever's operating the drone with the, with the band is getting carried away. All right, first down and long first and 20 now for Jackson State from its own 33. Shadour back to throw, fires across the middle. A man is open. It was behind him, but he made the, he catch. Made the catch. Yes, sir. Wow. Is that Richie? Yeah, that's Richie, Coach. And that's what we talked about earlier in the game. The middle of the field is wide open. We're using that tight end. Kylan Richie making the catch, his first catch of the ball game. First down brought to you by Cadillac of Jackson. JSU on the move. They give it to Sante as he takes it to the PV 48, a gain of two on the carry. Just trying to mix that thing up. Trying to mix it up between your running pass. Jackson State with a 13-10 lead, looking to add to it. You're on second down and eight from the PV 48-yard line. Shadour hit as he throws. Going down the right sideline, it is incomplete. Going to bring up third down. Yeah, PV brought an extra man to this to Jackson State sideline. That was the man that put the pressure on uh, Sanders. JSU at the PV, 48-yard line. It is third down and nine to go for Jackson State. The Tigers can pick up the first down at the Panthers, 39. Two receivers to the right, two to the left for Jackson State as they operate out of the shotgun here on third down and nine. Shadour. Back to throw, steps up, and he's in trouble, and he's going to go down. He's sacked at the 45-yard line. This PV defense has been causing all type of trouble for Shadur Sanders on the sack for the Panthers is Rashad Powell, the 6'3", senior from Houston, Texas. Well, what are they doing, Coach? They're dropping eight in coverage. 
So you're going to have to develop some type of running game. That particular time, they had so many back deep. So JSU will punt it away here on fourth down and 20. Mullins will field it at the 24, and he runs to his left. He has some room to run, and still on his feet. And now he's finally brought down just shy of midfield. PB coming into this game ranked dead last in kickoff returns and punt returns. But Antonio Mullins with a nice return near midfield. For the Timeout. Got everybody bottled up on that punt return in the middle. He just bounced it outside. All right, we have a timeout on the field. Jackson State with a 13-10 lead, but the Panthers in great field position. We're back after this Your assistant. on the Tiger Sports Network. Did you know that over 90% of small businesses that lose their computer data due to a disaster will close within a year? Protect your computers with TeamLogic IT. TeamLogic IT will proactively monitor your systems 24-7, back up your data, protect against viruses, and respond immediately when there's a problem. Keep your small business in business. Call Harold Loving at 601-878-1900 or visit us online at teamlogicit.com slash jacksonms. What makes Zaxby's new Grade 8 Boneless Wings Meal so great? They can't wait for our own plate. Or your best mate is a cheapskate. Maybe you're just really hungry. Whatever the reason, Zaxby's Grade 8 Boneless Wings Meal is pretty... Well, you get the picture. Enjoy eight boneless wings with your choice of sauce, fries, Texas toast, and a drink for just $7.99. Only at Zaxby's. Available at participating locations. Price is not valid for delivery. Back at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium, nice night for football. Jackson State clinging to a 13-10 lead over the PVU Panthers. JSU's drive just ended after eight plays, and that drive was brought to you by River Bend Tire Center. Don't drive on bad tires. Visit River Bend Tires at 601-933-9799 or riverbendtirecenter.com. Coaches... 11 minutes to go here in the third. Are you a little anxious, nervous here at the Cricket Wireless Swag Football Championship? I'm nervous. <laughs> I might well tell you that right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Coach. It's, it's going back to what we talked about earlier, Coach. You know, that, that they're going tit for tat defensively. And it's going to come. I'm afraid this thing is going to come down to who's going to get hot first. Um, Look like my prediction is going to be way off if it stays like this. You said you said 40 to 30 or something like that. Uh, it was 30 to about 20-something. Okay. Yeah. Let's check in now with Jamie Horton down on the sideline with our Miss Kelly sideline report, Jamie. Yeah, Rob, on that last series, the offensive coaches was not happy with that uh, series right there. They was fussing at the offensive line about giving Shadua more protection. Also, there was a miscommunication on that play before the third down because Malachi was wide open. And I think that pass was supposed to go to Malachi, but uh, he threw it to Richie by mistake. Wow, but Richie was open as well. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the middle of the field is wide open. They're gonna really have was. to, they're gonna have to work that middle of the field every time. Preview goes to the two safety high look. They're trying to double on the outside with that speed with those guys, and then leaving the middle of the field wide open. Again, this third quarter brought to you by Converge One. It's a proud sponsor of JSU TV and JSU Tiger Football. They have proven technology solutions that connect people with purpose. Beautiful night here in Jackson, Mississippi. 521 is the local time. A low tonight of around 55 degrees. Right now, the temperature in Jackson is 70 degrees. Your time and temperature brought to you by Porter's Insurance. 1020 University Boulevard in Jackson. Give Miss Porter a call at 601-355-8471. Miss Porter, a longtime sponsor and supporter of Jackson State football. Rob J. Darrell Asbury, Sam Brown, and Jamie Horton bringing you the play-by-play -play story on a good night for a football game. The winner of this will advance to the Celebration Bowl 
in Atlanta, Georgia, December 18th. All right, PB now. Offense back on the field on first and 10. Just shy of midfield at their own 48-yard line. Jawan Pass remains in at quarterback. He has four receivers in the game, three right, one left. <coughs> PV in white jerseys, gold numbers, chrome gold helmets. That's shining here in the night. All right, Pass takes a snap. He'll pitch it to the ass. Oh, my goodness. Big Auburn Miller, Coach. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he plays with a lot, a lot of energy, Coach. No gain on the play for the Panthers on that run. All right, second down now for the Panthers. Jackson State was all over PV. Here's James Houston applying the pressure. Pass slips out of it. He'll run it now, and he's going to be brought down <laughs> right at the line of scrimmage. He may have picked up a yard, so it's going to be third down and nine for the Panthers. Yeah, he scrambled left. The Jackson State sideline was flushed out of the pocket by James Houston and Keontae Hampton came up and made the tackle. Third down and nine for the Panthers from their own 49-yard line. Jackson State 13, PB 10, under 11 minutes to go here in the third quarter. Pass the quarterback. Hasn't been very successful in this ball game tonight. Passing the shotgun. Takes the snap. Pass. Here comes the pressure again. He gets out of it, but now he's brought down and tackled at midfield. The ball pops loose. Jackson State may have recovered at midfield. And it looks like it may be JSU's ball code. What are they going to say here? Yeah, that's Jackson State ball. Keontae Hampton with the big play. He, he, was, he wasn't down, guys. I'm looking right at the play. That was just a great play yeah, by the linebacker. And a great play by Keontae to recover the fumble. Yeah, Keontae came up and made a huge play and recovered the fumble. Man, what more can we say about Keontae? The ruling on the field is a fumble by Prairie View. Recovered by Jackson State. First out. I'll tell you what, pass was hit hard, Coach. Yeah, he was, and he let coach. that ball go. He said, forget this. He said, you can have this type of table. <laughs> there it is right there, Coach. He, yeah, see, that's, he gave it up. That would be the kind of player I was. When they come and hit me, I'm letting it go. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I never did this. You, you, you wouldn't have been out on the field long, Rob. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been that boy. Give me my ball, man. I'm going on. First down for Jackson State. They'll go with the ground game. Not much there. Maybe a two-yard pickup into PB territory at the Panthers' 48-yard line. Yeah, they tried to run that, that inside zone again, and Sante Marshall actually tried to jump over them big defensive tackles, and he dove right in their arms. Second and nine, a one-yard pickup. <laughs> they dove right. <laughs> Coach was like, they said, come here, boy. <laughs> Four receivers in the ball game for Jackson State. Shadour back to throw. Fires across the middle. It is incomplete. He's just not clicking on his passes tonight, Coach. No. Nah. Yeah, I don't know who he was trying to throw that one to. He was trying to hit the running back or what? Yeah, I don't know who he's throwing that to either, yeah, Coach. He has no emotions tonight. I don't know what's going on, Coach. Third down and nine for Jackson State. 9-14 to play here in the third. Tigers holding on to a 13-10 lead. JSU moving the ball from left to right. Weidman. Out wide to the right. Three receivers to the left. Shadour in the shotgun. Shadour with time. Now he's going to step up, and he slides down after a pickup of one yard. It's going to bring up third down. I'm sorry, fourth down. Coach, they got to get the ball to the middle of the field. It is wide open. And what's, what's happening is the receiver is trying to inside release, Coach, and the linebacker is doubling him up. You got to go over the top of that guy and get to the middle of the field. And that's what Valley was doing. Valley, yeah. you know, threw that ball up in the, to the tight ends, and JSU was thrown to the tight end once in this ball game. So it's fourth down and long, and Jay State will have to punt it away. Mullins back at its 15-yard line for the Panthers. There's a kick. Mullins signals for the fair catch, and it is caught at the 11. So JSU unable to capitalize on that turnover 
as they go three and out. That three and out drive brought to you by Riverbend Tires. Timeout. Riverbend Tires. Visit Riverbend Tires at 601 933 9799 or RiverbendTireCenter.com. We're back after this. Tigers leading 13 10. Jackson State Tiger football brought to you in part by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi, Zaxby's, Converge One, Pizza Hut, Mole Southwest Grill, Richard Swartz, Cadillac of Jackson, the Mississippi State Medical Association, Miskelly's Furniture, Wendy's, Mississippi Smiles Dentistry, Penn Street Investments, and C Spire. And Jackson State football this season brought to you in part by Penn Street Investments, where they pursue their investment goals with sound financial strategies. You deserve a personal, tailored plan. Lasting, meaningful relationships are the foundation of the practice. You worked hard for your money and should feel confident with your investment choices as you make decisions for your financial future. Investment and insurance products are not insured by the FDIC or any federal government agency and not a deposit or other obligation of or guaranteed by the bank affiliate and is subject to investment risk, including loss of principal amount invested. Give Penn Street Investments a call at 67, I'm sorry, 769 at 769-349-49. Or you can log on to Bev, B-E-V, at PinStreetInvestment.com. Coach, do you do a good job of investing your funds there, Coach? Yeah, Coach, I, I actually do um, because it's it's bigger than just me. You know, yes, I, I um, dealing with my dealing with my, my kids and mm -hmm. making sure that they're set up and my, my family and my wife, Coach. All right, first down for PBU out of the timeout at its own 10-yard line, moving the ball from right to left. This game also brought to you by Zaxby's. We did. I did have a Zaxby's box, but uh, somebody came in here and ripped it off. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. It, it was two boxes and one left. Ooh, it's intercepted by James Houston, and it's in for the touchdown. Pass went back to pass. James Houston was in his face, picked it off, and took it 10 yards for the touchdown. Yeah, he tried to get it over Houston's head, and Houston just took it from him, Coach. The defense is amazing here at Jackson State. Yeah, lights out defense right there, Jamie. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you were right there to see it. I, I mean, I'm looking right at it. Me and Quinn standing right there, and our mouth was just wide open because that was complete concentration on James Houston. He tried to do a little screenplay, but he stepped in front of the path. Great, great concentration by that, by that guy. This defense is just outstanding. That touchdown brought to you by Zaxby's. I wish I had my box back, but it was taken <laughs> up by, I don't know the gentleman's name, but his initials are Ed Bishop. Ed Bishop. <laughs> and and I, wonder, I wonder what did he do with it. That, the point after is up and good. Jackson State extends to a 20 to 10 lead. Over the Panthers. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Hey, this is Don Duncan here at Ruben Tire Center. It's fall. That means football, road trips, and good times. Don't let a flat run your day. Hop on in if you need a new tire or a tire repair. If your budget's a little tight, we have a large selection of high-tread takeoff tires at a fraction of the price of new. 
The Riverbend Rabbit has a tire for every budget and every vehicle. Remember, we offer 90 days same as cash and no credit check financing. Two locations in Jackson and one in Florida. At Penn Street Investments, they pursue their investment goals with sound financial strategies. You deserve a personal, tailored plan. Lasting, meaningful relationships are the foundation of the practice. You worked hard for your money and should feel confident with your investment choices as you make decisions for your financial future. Investments and insurance products are not insured by the FDIC or any federal government agency and not a deposit or other obligation of or guaranteed by the bank affiliate and is subject to investment risk, including loss of principal amount invested. Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Network LLC, member SIPC, is a separate registered broker, dealer, and non-bank affiliate of Wells Fargo. Bev at PennStreetInvestment.com, 769-300-4949. Following the interception by James Houston and the pick six, the kickoff return gives PV no yards at all as they field it at the 15 and Jackson State's special teams unit is there to snuff it out and PV will start at the 14 yard line. Yeah, coach after that big old return. I mean the stage is really set coach. These fans have, woke, have woken up and it, it is lights out football now. Wow, Jamie, it's got to feel exciting down there on the field. It, it, I mean, it is. It's rocking down here right now, guys. The boom start paying the show, so we are seeking this defense. Uh, pull them in. Offense get the ball back and put up more points. And these fans are into it. First down for PV. They'll hand it off. A gain of maybe three yards on that carry up to the 18-yard line. PV just trying to run that inside zone straight up the middle, Coach, but it's nothing there. Jackson State fans are pumped up. 7.50 to go here in the third. The Tigers with a 20 to 10 lead over the Panthers here in the Cricket Wireless Championship game. New quarterback in the ball game for Prairie View as they have taken pass out of the game. Wow. Trazon Connolly is the new quarterback for the Panthers as he runs for the first down up to the 26 yard line. Yeah, it looked like they were just trying and they finally went on and made a change because he just scrambled his way out. Wow, this is something that uh, Coach Dooley, I'm sure he didn't want to do this because Pass is his stud quarterback. So Connolly will hand it off. Nothing there at all. Antoine Owens, Keontae Hampton, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. Boy, he ran into a brick wall on that, Jamie. That, yeah, that was a concrete wall. <laughs> no gain on the play. It's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Panthers. Jackson State 20, PBU 10. Tigers extended that lead. Off that pick six by James Houston. Pass through it right to him. I mean, right to him, Coach. He tipped it back to him. Pass was like, get me, get this ball out of my hand. Connolly back to throw. Fires deep down the right side, and it's overthrown and complete. Yeah, that was a, they trying to just throw a deep ball right there, Coach. But Jackson State, we were all over that, Coach. I'll tell you what, Jackson State has been very successful against uh, the top quarterbacks in the league, Aquil Glass had, he couldn't do anything against the JSU defense. Felix Harper, Alcorn couldn't do anything. The only quarterback that really played well was uh, Jelani Eason at Mississippi, Mississippi Valley. Valley yeah. Third down and long for Connolly and the Panthers. He'll take the snap, rolls to his left, throws, and it is incomplete. And that's Wiggins all over him, Coach. I'm sorry. You're right, Coach. Yeah, Wiggins was all over that play, Coach. Wow, so that's going to bring up fourth down, fourth and long. PV at its own 28, and they're going to have to punt it away with 6.14 to play in the third quarter. It's like the momentum has really shifted, Coach. Now we just need offensively, you know, to get this thing going. All 
right, back deep again. Like you said, pick your poison. You got Warren Newman <laughs> and Isaiah Bolden. Yeah, coach. It's fielded by Newman at the 30. Newman angles to his right. Newman shifts around. He's across midfield. Newman's still running. Now he's dropped down at the 40. Is he leaving, too? He's a senior, yeah, he's too, a coach? senior too, And coach. you can't pull no strings and keep him back? <laughs> Time out. But I'm the legal coach, man. <laughs> I, I love my suspense. I'm sorry, coach. All right, Jackson State set up in great field position once again. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. <laughs> Jackson State University football brought to you in part by Porter's Insurance, Team Logic IT, Entergy, Chamless Premier Insurance Services, Watkins Auto Sales, McCullum Physical Therapy, Blackwell Family Foot Care, Bolden's Body Shop, The Tiger Fund, Riverbend Tire Company, KLLM Trucking School, and the Blue Bingo Athletic Association. 601 to go here in the third. Jackson State 20, Prairie View 10. Both these teams' offenses have struggled in this ball game. It's been the story of the defense. And James, the problem, Houston, <laughs> with that pick six he for is, 10 yards. Yes, Carl. <laughs> if he was in school, Coach, they would expel him, Coach. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has caused a whole lot of problems today, Coach. Wow. Nice crowd here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Again, up next for Jackson State. Should the Tigers hold on and win this game, they'll advance to the Celebration Bowl for the first time in school history. Also, if Jackson State holds on and win this game, it will be the first 11-win season for Jackson State in school history. And when you look at all the success of Jackson State over the years, I, I didn't realize JSU has never won 11 games in the season, Coach. No, Coach, it, I, think the, I think the closest was Coach Hughes at 9-2 and two in 99. Mm-hmm. Um, and on that SWAC championship. Wow. So Shador Sanders remains in at quarterback here on first and 10 for Jackson State with 6.01 to go in the third quarter. Weidman stretched out wide to the right. Newman in the slot to the right. Three receivers to the left. Empty backfield for Shador Sanders on first and 10, taking the snap. Shador fires out to the right side. The catch is made. Not much there for Warren Newman on that catch. Yeah, just threw a five-yard out, a four-yard out right there to Warren Newman, coach. Second down and seven to go. It was a three-yard pickup on that play by Warren Newman. Clock continues to move under six minutes to go here in the third. Shotgun formation for Sanders. He's got Pickett standing to his left shoulder. Taking the snap, he'll hand it off to Pickett. Pickett with room to run, and he breaks a tackle. Pickett inside the 40, 35-30. Pickett runs out of bounds on the far side at the 25, and it's another first down brought to you by Cadillac of Jackson. Yeah, Coach, he just bounced that thing outside. He thought it was going to take it inside. He planted that foot and got outside real quick. Good job of reading it. Jackson State with a first down at the Panthers' 27-yard line. 
JSU trying to extend the lead. Shadua hands it off to Pickett. Up the middle he goes, and he's inside the 25 and is wrestled down at the 24-yard line. We have an injured offensive lineman for Jackson State holding his hand. I think he's going to be all right. Get back in there, man. Yeah, get back in. Yeah, put some tape on it. Yeah, put some to just spit on it. That's Demetri Jordan. <laughs> Or like my grandma said, put take some cast oil, you'll be all right. <laughs> Second down and seven to go for Jackson State at the Prairie View 24 yard line. Coming up on four minutes to play here in the third. They give it to Pickett again. Pickett inside the 20. Pickett still on his feet, knocked down now at the 15 yard line. I tell you what, Coach, Victor Demetrius Jordan, we talking about Pickett. He he got him what you call a pancake. You got him a pancake? A coach? pancake, man. That's how that thing popped open, Coach. Jackson State inside the Penn Street Investments red zone. It's another first down for the Tigers as they have it at the Panther 15-yard line. 3.30 to play in the third. Jackson State looking to build on that lead. Tigers up 20-10 to 10 in the third. Corbin and Weidman out wide to the right. And on this yeah. carry, Shanti Marshall is brought down as soon as he took the handoff. Yeah, that was Dumas again, Coach. He came right in the middle. May have lost a yard yeah. on that play. Yeah, he beat Amar catches off that ball right there. Coach Dumas is, he's raising all kind of sand. Loses four yards, actually. So it's second down and 14. And we have a flag down, free play. Should do it. Throws in the end zone. There's another flag. It's three flags down yeah. <laughs> on one play, and they are going to be all yeah, on Prairie View. They're going to take every last one of them. Yeah, they're going to take that pass interference penalty. Yeah, it's going to be all on Prairie View. Yeah, Prairie View. Prairie. <laughs> Here's a Richard Schwartz. You make the call. Yeah, he'll wave off the offsides. He's going to take that long one. There were two fouls on the play, both against the defense. Offside, number one. That penalty is declined. Pass interference, defense, number eight. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Wow. That's going to give Jackson State the ball. Correction. The pass interference was on number three. They say anything. <laughs> Still a pass interference, right? <laughs> Just pass interference, man. <laughs> so that's going to put the ball at the five-yard line. Yeah. PBU has played in the SWAC in the um, Celebration Bowl one time. That was in night in 2009 when they beat Alabama A&M. Jackson State has never played in the Celebration Bowl. You know, Jackson State has had trouble in the postseason. Timeout. Prayer view. They're first. 30 second timeout. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, Jackson State has always had trouble here in the SWAC championship game. JSU is one and three, coach. That one victory was against Grambling with Jimmy Oliver at quarterback. Yeah, I remember that one, coach. That was in 2008. 07. Yeah. That was in 07. I'm sorry, 07. You're right, Jamie. I'm sorry. 07. And um, the last time we were in the SWAC championship game, we lost to Southern. 34-27 in two overtimes when uh, Houston, if a man Tommy, stepped Tommy, out of bounds. He stepped Tommy, out of bounds. Tommy Gooden, running back from yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, I remember that one. He Gooden caught it out of bounds. Yeah. Please yeah. reset yeah. the game yeah. clock to 247. 247. Yeah. He steps out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew he was going to score, Coach. I'm jumping up cheering. He stepped out of bounds. Broke my heart. Well, Coach, if you win the state championship next week, I think the Southern fans will probably forgive you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Trust me, I have met with some some members of my alumni, <laughs> very strong <laughs> alumni members. <laughs> All right, out of the timeout, Jackson State has it. First and goal from the PBU five-yard line. Jackson State moving from left to right. Peyton Pickett in the backfield with Shador Sanders. Thank you. Right shoulder. If this ref don't hush. I see they put that tight end in <laughs> down here, Coach. All right. First and goal. Shadour working out of the shotgun. 
Hands it to Pickett. Pickett trying to take it off the right side. Inside the five. Pickett in for the touchdown. Good job right there, Coach. Put the tight end. He went tight end. Two receivers, which we call that pro right Dallas, right? He just ran it in, Coach. That touchdown brought to you by Zaxby's as Jackson State starts to open this thing up. Tigers lead it 26-10, pending the outcome of the point after. I might get to my score that I said on Jackson's side, Coach. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think uh, me and Jamie were a little bit closer, Coach. I, you was close. Yeah, well, I said you, you I said, all way close. Yeah, we said I said thirty to ten. Hey, one one more touchdown, and I have my uh, score. I said thirty-four to fourteen. What did Ed Bishop say? He ain't say nothing. <laughs> Here's the point after it's up, and it is good. <laughs> Jackson State extends to a 27 10 lead <laughs> over the Panthers <laughs> with my captain <laughs> Miskelly Furniture homegrown and locally owned since 1978 we're committed to this community where our team members live and our customers are neighbors it's also where a lot of our furniture is made we carry more brands made in our state than any other retailer in the southeast Look for the Made in Mississippi tags throughout our store. You'll find quality products that support local Mississippi companies. At Miskelly's, we look forward to furnishing happiness for many years to come. Coming up in Mississippi, I learned the Mississippi way. To be strong and serve one another. I remember fighting through the noise. I remember the struggle. Getting stronger to support my team. That's the Mississippi way. That's why Mississippians are getting the COVID-19 vaccine, to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Learn more at msway.com. And the kickoff sails into the end zone for a touchback. Rayborn Lisa Swag in touchbacks when it comes to kicking the ball away coach so he has a strong leg uh, he just has to work on his accuracy when it comes to field goal kicking yeah coach and, and you know sometimes you, you have that issue I remember when I was at Shaw I had a guy that kicked it deep but he couldn't kick field goals so I had to go find me a that's somebody that can kick a field now, goal. What was it, the pressure of kicking a field goal? Yeah. Because I know kicking it, off, you really don't have much pressure it's on it. just kicking. Your leg is just, just strong, straight ahead kicking. And the key word you said, accuracy. First down for the Panthers from their own 25-yard line. Connolly hit as he throws, and it sails out of bounds. Incomplete. Boy, they're putting the pressure. Yeah, Connolly is like, man, what y'all put me in here for? <laughs> yeah. Kyle, Kyle first, the, the first quarterback went out and said, I told y'all it wasn't me. <laughs> Trazon Connolly, 6'2", 185-pound sophomore from Dallas, Texas, in at quarterback for Prairie View, in for an ineffective Jawan pass. And the officials throw a flag. Here's a Richard Schwartz, you make the call. Uh-oh, like 12 on Jackson State. Let's see what how many you count, Coach? I don't know what he's calling that flag on. That's 11. Four. That's 11. Yeah, that's 11, Coach. But they serving on them now, Coach. <laughs> Mixing them up, Coach. Gaddy comes in for Jackson State. Justin Reagan is also in. <laughs> Just a slew of Tigers coming out of the ball game. There is no foul on the play or intentional grounding. There was a receiver in the area. That receiver must have been in the stands. Yeah, huh? he was in the stands. <laughs> so Connolly said, man, <laughs> you ain't hit the stands, go. So in the ball game again, Trazon Connolly. Now, if you switch his first two letters around, the, the R and the A, it'll be Tarzan. <laughs> and on that play, he was, uh, look at Connolly. Conley on the run right there as he picks up the first down up to the 45 yard line. Yeah, well, Gaddy on the tackle, Coach. He's more, looks like he's more of a running quarterback or a more athletic quarterback. So that's it. That was a nice run by Conley. Hurry up offense by PBU. Conley in the shotgun. Throws. The catch is made. Underneath, they pick up about eight yards across midfield to the Jackson State 49. Second down and about one 
Connolly throws again. This time it's incomplete as he throws, uh, throws it across the middle. Just trying to throw that quick out. It looked like C.J. Holmes right there to make that big play. Third down and one to go for the Panthers from the Jackson State 49. A minute 55 to play here in the third quarter. It's Jackson State 27, Prairie View 10. PBU opened the game with some razzle-dazzle and took a 7-0 lead. They would lead it 10-7. False start yeah. offense. Number 68, five-yard penalty, third down. That's a bad penalty for PB because it was third and one. Now it's going to make it third and six. Yeah, that was a bad, bad penalty, a false start on Prairie View. I'll get back up. So now it's going to be third and six now as they push him back to the 46-yard line. Connolly out of the shotgun as he is in for ineffective Jawan Pass. Pass cannot like being taken out of his ball game. Here comes the pressure, and Connolly escapes the sack. Now he's in more trouble, and Connolly goes down at the 45. He did a lot to elude those uh, sacks, Coach. Yeah, Coach, he's working a lot of energy, man. That tells you right there they have not picked up the protection all day long, Coach. I mean, you have Houston. You know, and and they brought uh, Silman off the edge on that play, Coach. So you're talking about two dangerous players coming off the edge. That's the sixth sack of the ball game for the Panthers. Dooley thought about going for it here on fourth down, but they'll bring the punting unit out. So you have to watch and see if they're going to fake this. With a minute 15 to go, let's check in now with Jamie Horton. I'm a Skelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob. There was some talk on social media earlier this week about if Jackson State win this game. Uh, some fans was talking about storming the field. But the Hines County Department said if you storm the field, you will be going to jail. And also, the timeout. Will also be charged Jackson State. They're so first. They will not have 30 second timeout. Down here thick. So they, they've been reading social media also. So hopefully that won't happen. Wow. Uh -huh. And think about that. Yeah, storming the field will uh, cost the school $100,000. If you storm I know who wouldn't storm that field. Oh, no, I would. I'm not going to sit in jail. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then I'm going to go to jail. It's going to be for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be careful with Coach Prime now on this scooter, man. Yeah. You don't want him to get injured exactly. any more than that. So I hope the fans don't do that nah, if I they hold on. Yeah. You know what, JSU fans have never really stormed the field. Well, the I, thing about our fans, Coach, they've been there before. Yeah. You know, they ain't been there in a long time. Yeah, I know it, Coach. Yeah. I'm trying to make it sound good, Coach. <laughs> trying to make these it, fans ain't been there. Yeah, these, these fans ain't been there. Exactly. I, I tried to make it sound good. This is the new breed of fans here, Coach. <laughs> they, <laughs> so, well, they got a little Willie out there, Coach. He'll stop him. He, he will. He's standing right next to me. All right, PB will punt it away after that timeout here on fourth and eight. They'll be punting from their own 30-yard line. There's the kick. Newman is waiting for it. Feels it at the 9. Angles to his left. He's at the 15, 20. Ooh, he's hit and brought down at the 26-yard line. 51 seconds to go here in the third. Jackson State 27, Prairie View 10. So how long do you keep? Let it rip Sanders in the game there, Coach. Well, Coach, you know, you, you ask yourself, and you go back and look at the games that Prairie View has won, um, they've had some come-from-behind victories. And you, you, as a coach, you say it's 27 points good enough to beat them. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's kind of in a catch-22. Jackson State only gives up 13 points a game. That's why my prediction was, like, opposite 30 to 10. I thought the game would be something like that, 30 to 14. This JSU defense is amazing. Man. Oh, man. Tell me. Shador in the shotgun. They'll run it here on first down. A gain of about four for the Tigers. Clock continues to move. Under a minute to go in the third. Yeah, he's going to have to snap it again, Coach. They ran that inside dive again. You know, he's going to have to snap it to get out of this half. Second down and seven. Shotgun snap for Shadour. 
He'll hand it off again. Short gain on the play, and that will end the third quarter with Jackson State leading 27 to 10. We're back with the important fourth quarter. One more quarter to go before JSU reaches the Celebration Bowl for the first time in school history. This is the Tiger Sports Network. The end of the third quarter. Time out. State University football brought to you in part by S. Williams Law, Cherokee Health, Atmos Energy, Capital City Beverage, Rocket Mortgage, SMB Exclusive Reloaded, Hattie's Chicken and Waffles, UMMC, Olita's Gift Greek and Basket, J5 GBL, Sims Chiropractic Services, and Dynastics Promotional Products. Jackson State football this season also brought to you in part by Blackwell Family Foot Care. Your BFF, best friend forever, can handle all of your foot care needs from heel pain to ingrown toenails, corns, calluses, hammer time in your toes, hammer toe, diabetic foot care, and wounds. Blackwell Family Foot Care is located at 1815 Hospital Drive, Suite 301 in Jackson, Mississippi. You can also give them a call at 601-449-0192. You, you doing okay with your, with your foot, there, Coach? Yeah, Coach, I'm, I'm doing better, man. I I walked in early and I saw Brown had his shoes off. Yeah. I thought it was a, uh, well. I know during the pregame show you were kind of riding me about uh, giving Coach Prime a gift. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, you know we, mm -hmm. and when you think about it, we, you know, we joke a lot, but we really didn't notice the severity of it. And uh, thank God he's he's doing better. He's down here moving a whole lot yeah. better. No, no, but the the issue was you said, this is what you said, quote. Green and what game mean nothing? Unquote. Well, and I remember I gave you some Under Armour orange shoes. Yeah, but that was just, that was in, in, in Florida. Okay. We in we in December. Yes, sir. Where is my present now? Okay, I apologize. I didn't mean no harm. You stood up, you know? Jamie. I didn't mean no harm. <laughs> Jamie, he talking about my question is, what have you gave me lately? I'm sorry, I apologize. I won't talk talk <laughs> like the, like the, like our wives <laughs> talk now. <laughs> what have you done for us lately? <laughs> I, I, I let Brown try them on. He, Brown took his shoes off, and I said, no, nah, then you can keep them. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. You let me put my feet no, no, in some no, no, brown it, 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 it was something different. It was a more shoes. You know, Brown took his shoes off, and the aroma of corn chip filled the room. <laughs> Smelled good, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he proud of that. He proud yeah. of that. Third down. <laughs> we start the fourth quarter play. Third down for Jackson State. Third and five for the Tigers from their own 31-yard line. This is it, Coach. Third and five at the 31. Jackson State opening the third quarter, moving the ball from right to left. The third quarter brought to you by Converge One. It's a proud sponsor of JSU TV and Tiger Football. They have proven technology solutions that connect people with purpose. Shador Sanders in the shotgun on third and five. Back to throw. Shador steps up in the pocket, has time. Here comes the pressure. He's going to run and take it across the 35 and picks up the first down. Man, get down. Give me a whistle, ref. <laughs> I didn't want to cut you off, Coach, but I wanted to say, man, get down. Get down, Shador. Get, get down. down. That first down brought to you by Cadillac of Jackson, JSU, at the 40-yard line. As they approach midfield here on this drive. Shadour. 
Trying to work on that clock as we open the fourth quarter. Taking the snap. They'll run it. Sante Marshall. Marshall slips out of a tackle, and he'll take it across the 45 for a gain of about six yards. Nice carry on the play by Marshall. Yeah, because he wanted to go to PV side, but he had a big old hold to the backside toward Jackson State. Yeah, I saw a little squirmish yeah. the other day, and uh, Shadua was standing around. I was like, hey, you get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt at all, man. Second down and four now for the Tigers. Actually, second and three, Jackson State. At its own 47-yard line. Shadour handing it off. It's Marshall again. Marshall picks up the first down across midfield. And that first down brought to you by Pizza Hut. Yeah, Coach, that, that's, that was huge right there, Coach. Way to get the first down. Keep the clocks going. This is how you close a football game out, Coach. Jackson State at the Prairie View 46-yard line. The Tigers leading 27-10 to 10 here in the fourth quarter. Moving the ball from right to left. Oh, Shadour is that receiver, Coach. Shadour is that receiver. And you got Kyle, the quarterback, he'll run it <laughs> for a gain of a yard. <laughs> so Jackson, stay using some trickery here. Don't you throw that to Shadour, man. No, sir. <laughs> coach. <laughs> oh, Coach. That was Kari Lyles in at quarterback for Jackson State. He's a good guy, man. He's a smart young man, and I, I just wish he had more playing time. But if you're behind Shadour Sanders, you, you might well get you a, a car, some Uno. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't getting in. No question. <laughs> Never. <laughs> All right. Here's Shadour now in a quarterback. They'll hand it off. Mm -hmm. Nice run by Peyton Pickett, and Pickett runs out of bounds on the near side. He's pushed out of bounds. But he may, may I think he's oh, about a year. Man, it is kind of Officials timeout. Point injured clear. He just threw a whole punt. Oh, my God. Coach Taylor put, getting him out of there, Coach. He just threw a whole punt. Coach Prime sent him to the locker room. Yeah, Coach Prime sent him to the locker room. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him, Coach. He, he, he just threw a punt. Timeout. Did the officials see it? Oh, they missed it, Coach. Coach Prime sent him to the locker room. Can he show it? Look, Coach. And he should. Tony Gray, he did this in the Alcorn game. Yeah. And Coach Prime is, is getting on him right now. Yeah, I don't know what his what deal is. is. They're sending him to the locker room, Coach. We have a timeout on the field. We'll try to unsort this when we come back. Tigers 27, Panthers 10. This is the Tiger Sports Network. Only Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. Our hot buttery breakfast biscuits are loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and your choice of bacon or sausage. And right now at Wendy's, they're only a buck each. Wendy's breakfast biscuits, just a dollar. So don't take a chance with those other guys. Bet your buck on a better breakfast with Wendy's bacon or sausage egg and cheese biscuit. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Limited time only during breakfast hours. U.S. price of participation may vary. Limited five qualifying items per transaction. Not valid in a combo. Excludes honey butter chicken biscuit. Hi, this is attorney Richard Schwartz. Me and my entire staff are dedicated to helping our Mississippi neighbors get the most money they deserve after a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck. You know the insurance company is not on your side. That's why it's important to get, that's why it's, get your attorney working for you right away. It's always free to talk to us, so the only thing you got to remember is one call, that's all. Call me, Richard Schwartz, at 601-988-8888. Or visit us online at onecall.ms. Twelve sixteen to go here in the fourth quarter. Tony Gray has been sent to the locker room by Coach Prime, which is a good move. And yes. Trey Johnson, the um, senior transfer from Southern Miss, is now in the ball game at uh, left tackle for Jackson State. Let's uh, check in with uh, Jamie. Jamie, what, what can you tell us? Uh, well, I found out that uh, the guy from Perryview hit Tony Gray in the chest, and Tony Gray hit him back with an open fist. And right then and there, Coach Taylor told him to go to the locker room. As he passed by me, he was saying some obscene words, of course, I can't say on the radio, mm -hmm. but he was vis visibly upset. 
Mm -hmm. Well, well, I tell you this, Coach. You know, I see Coach Prime getting a team together. You know, just want to probably tell them, hey, guys, stay disciplined. I don't want any problems, Coach. You know, it's a football game. It's not a boxing match. If Tony Gray wants to go box, he needs to go and join the, the boxing club or something, Coach. Yeah. This is college football, man. Third down and one to go for Jackson State from the Prairie View 38-yard line. Jackson State ranked fourth in the league on third down conversions. Shadour in the shotgun. He'll give it to Peyton, and Peyton picks up the first down on that. Well, I don't know, Coach. He's no, right at it. He's right at it. They did he get it? He didn't get it on that one, Coach. Well, they should go for it. Yeah, I, I would go for it. It's not going to get anything in that middle, Coach. They're going to have to bounce that thing outside. So it's fourth down. No gain on the play for Peyton Pickett. So it's fourth down and one for Jackson State again at the PV 38-yard line. 11-36 yeah. to play in the fourth quarter. Tigers leading it 27-10. to 10. Chidur working out of the gun. There's a man in motion, and they'll give it to Pickett, and this time he picks up the first down as his forward progress takes him to the 35. Well, look. Yeah, he, he, should, he should get it right here, Coach. Yeah, he got it. Now Jackson State working on that clock. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I, I hate being distracted, Coach. You know what I mean? Especially when you got a good thing going, you're getting yeah. ready to go and win a championship, number one, and advance a national championship, mm -hmm. and you have to deal with discipline. First down for Jackson State from the PB 35-yard line. High snap, and flags come in. So this play has stopped before it even got started. Could be a false start on the Tigers. Coach. Yeah, that's what he man just gave it to. False start, offense, number 50. Five-yard penalty, first down. That's, uh, that's a Richard Schwartz you make the call. And again, Tony Gray has been sent to the locker room by Coach Prime. Luckily, the officials didn't see that. Yeah, Coach, because it was third and one. And we wouldn't be right here right now. We'll be back 15 yards. PV would have the football right now. And then he wouldn't be playing in the celebration bowl if yeah, Coach. we win this game. So it's first down and 15 for Jackson State. Shador back to throw. Oh, he's hit from behind and yeah. sacked at midfield. Yeah, that's Trey Johnson, Coach. That's the one that just replaced him. Wow. Yeah, that's that's it. And this is how you hurt your football team. This is what I try to get my young men to understand. You know, when you come out of the game, you know, and then I put someone else in, this is what happens right here. So now they just made it, just pulled Trey out and bumped Demetrius Johnson to the ball. The time. Timeout. Jackson State. Your second. 30 second timeout. Okay. okay. You know, Jamie, early in the week, Coach Prime talked about. These situations, he said, if this offensive lineman has to go down, they work on who replaces him. If this happens, work on. So this is something that he's been working on. So it's something that is not catching JSU off guard. So Coach Prime is, you know, working on this, and he, he knows what, what, what they need to do when this situation pops up. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I agree with Coach. You're, you're hurting your, your ball club. I mean, I'm not taking anything from Trey, but oh, Tony's a great athlete. He's a great, great offensive athlete. lineman. Yes. And he has so much potential, but he can't make any moves like that, especially in a championship game. That was uncalled for. And luckily, I mean, I didn't see why the referees didn't see that because we were just lucky on that they didn't throw a flag. But, you know, he has to do what he got to do, and hopefully we can hold this, this uh, lead and uh, go in the championship game. But I don't think he's going to be able to play for the uh, celebration bowl. Second down and 25 for Jackson State from midfield. They'll run it with Pickett. He tries to bounce it off the right side, and he is bounced. Another flag comes in. Yeah, maybe a little holding somewhere in there, Coach. One thing about yeah, it is holding. One thing about those, when those running backs get to go on side to side, if those offensive linemen get to trying to move their feet, Coach, and kind of grab that jersey a little bit, I bet if they would have grabbed your jersey, you just automatically fall. Well, first of all, <laughs> you would you try to well, get off well, the block. The, the first thing is, I'm not going to have no jersey on to play this game. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna play something safe like baseball, <laughs> golf. No, that's not safe. You well, play <laughs> golf, <laughs> baseball, golf. So they throw the ball. Ball. Holding <laughs> offense, number seven. That penalty has declined. Third down. I was never afraid to stand in the battles by you right, and it's throwing the ball at you like that. I was never really afraid. To. That's a hundred miles an hour. Coach. What? No, no. The people I play with, they don't know hundred miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was more like 40 or 50. They, they, they throw an underhand. So, no, I was that's never scared. Ball, <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's about as fast as they were going overhand. <laughs> so, that's about, so I wasn't worried about that, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jackson State moving backwards now. He didn't like it. He catch it with a hand. Throw it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Third down <laughs> and forever. Here's Shadour. Back to throw. Screen pass to Pickett. And Pickett is brought down. He lost two more yards. This whole series was a disaster. Yeah, it was, Coach. But, and, and again, I say it all the time. I don't have a third and forever call in my playbook. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's one of those things you say, okay, let's, let's play it safe. Let's put the defense back on the field, and let's re restart this thing again. The drive ended after 11 plays. Jackson State's drive. Brought to you by Riverbend Tire Center. Don't drive on bad tires. Visit Riverbend Tires at 601-933-9799 or riverbendtirecenter.com. It was good to have Commissioner Dr. McClellan here in the booth with us, man. He provided some really good insight. He did. Coach. He did. It's always good. To Time out. For review. That's second. 30-second timeout. I know I would see him at the SWAC yeah. baseball tournament when it was in New Orleans. He would say, Rob J, do you ever what it, do you ever sleep? I like no so. <laughs> <laughs> Richard just made the announcement about the fans running on the field. If you don't have the proper credentials, you will be arrested. <laughs> you know, Richard has been a little bit subdued in this game. You know, yeah. I'll give it to the SWAC for making him shut his mouth. Cool, <laughs> He uh, he hit the, the, the beef beep a couple times and the dome one or two times. But but all of that, that on your feet, Tiger fans, all that, you know. <laughs> when the team with the ball, you want the fans to make all that racket. Here's the punt. Mullen signals for the fair catch. He muffs it at the 21, but he was able to fall on it. And PV will have it at the 20-yard line. All right. 8.42 to go if the Panthers are going to make some noise. Time out. to do it here. We're back after this on the Tigers Sports Network. Jackson State Tiger football brought to you in part by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi, Zaxby's, Converge One, Pizza Hut, Moe's Southwest Grill, Richard Swartz, Cadillac of Jackson, the Mississippi State Medical Association, Miskelly's Furniture, Wendy's, Mississippi Smiles Dentistry, Penn Street Investments, and C Spire. You know, Brown seemed like he put a little uh, sound effect on his voice. You, you heard that? Uh, Mr. Slipper is smart. He don't do you. He don't do you. No, he don't do us like that. Of yeah, he don't do us like that, Coach. No, he got us just sound no, like we, we flam flam. Yeah, he'll press the button so we can mute us out. Yeah. That would keep college. When he, when he, 
That would keep calling you good, Coach. Oh, you know, bro. You heard turn the music up loud on him, Jay. You remember that, Jay? Yeah. I, did, I, did I remember thought that. I would get a laugh out of that one. <laughs> you got a big laugh out of that one. Yeah, and Jamie, you know, uh, you know, I've heard Brown over the years, and with these commercials pop up, he's got a, some kind of sound effect to make him yeah. sound deeper. Oh, boy. Oh, you, 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 and you should hear him. Sound like he's trying to get rid of one of us. <laughs> when we were doing the Holmes County games, uh, Rob, you could have heard him, boy. He was like, well, Holmes County with the first down. <laughs> But I tell you what, Sam Brown can hook up anything. No anything. Question. I mean, if if I'm in, if I'm lost in the woods, I'm gonna <laughs> find Brown. He's gonna, he gonna get, give him a stick and a oh. and a wire. And that crack it out. That you on the app. Hey Rob, they gonna find the emergency people. Gonna, he gonna tap into the emergency mic. Well, if we in the woods, we'll be right there. Man, and I really appreciate it, man, yeah. because he, he your mic tonight, Jamie, sounds much better, and it's because of this innovative. Equipment that yeah. Sam has come up with. Oh, yes. Brown <laughs> bought a brown <laughs> 1950 AM FM radio <laughs> with an antenna on it. And I just want to tell him thank you because it's just so much clearer and so much better. So thanks, Brown. Yeah, man. He's amazing, man. He, he is, is amazing. He is. He's good. Hey, that's what you get for watching MacGyver growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so PV will have the football. Trazon Connolly remains in at quarterback on first and 10. PV. At his own 20 yard line. Conley in the shotgun. Escapes the pressure. Now he's in more trouble and he's going to have to run. Uh, he's hit out of bounds. Now, do they throw a flag? No, 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 no. They, they didn't try to get to him, Coach. You had big number 96 right there. They kind of bumped Crane, him. Yeah, Jermaine the Crane kind of gave him a little bump. Yeah, you know, sometimes that is cause for a flag. So no gain on the play. I see Coach, Coach Prime got out of the way real quick, Coach. Yeah. Yeah, Coach, get out the way, man. Yeah, Coach. Coming up on eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Conley steps up in the pocket now. Conley is going to raise a fan. He can run the football, man. He's a fast guy. He runs out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 33-yard line. Yeah, and he has a nice arm, Coach. I tell you what, Coach, you talk about somebody storming the field. If anybody get close to Coach Prime, it's about 15 state troopers down there. Coach. Yeah, they don't need to get close <laughs> to him. They're not going to get close I mean, to yeah, him. Yeah, he's going through a lot, man. I don't think yeah. people really realize what he has gone through. And uh, I know for sure he's gone through a lot, man. So it's good yeah. to even have him. It's good to see him, him Coach. Yeah. First down, 10. Conley with the screen pass. And he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Five-yard loss. Yeah, Randall Haney made a big, big play right there, Coach. Tick, clock, tick, clock. <laughs> I wanted to say tick, tock, tick, tock, but I had to play it off. <laughs> Coming up on seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Jackson State 27, Prairie View 10. Rob J. Darrell Asbury, Sam Brown, and Jamie Horton bringing you the play-by-play -play story on a beautiful night in Jackson. Jackson State here in the Cricket Wireless SWAC football championship game looking to make it to the Celebration Bowl for the first time in school history, looking to win 11 games for the first time in school history. Second down for the Panthers, second and 15. They'll run it, and they'll run right into the ground after a four-yard game. And they just ran that zone, and, he, and Conley just pulled it and tried to get around that sideline. PV opened this game with a 7-0 lead. It was a low trick play that they used through the screen and the running back through the touchdown pass. And, and that's about it. That was about it. They led it 10-7, and after that, it was, they had yeah, to score it cool. since. Third down and 11. Conley back to throw. He is going to run, and he runs out of room because he's brought down after a gain of about four, so it's fourth down. Do they go for it? They, they have another choice, Coach. But they yeah, go coach. for it. Yeah, they, they're going to have Isaiah Bolden on that tackle, Coach. So fourth down and five to go for the Panthers from their own 36-yard line. Conley working out of the gun. Three receivers to his right, two to the left for the Chrome Helmet Panthers. Connolly 
with the quarterback draw. That's something that you love to do, Coach, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a, that's a good play, Coach. He almost looked like you doing no, that, No, sir, Coach. They wouldn't have touched me, Coach. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean no harm. Me, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean no harm. I would have put it in the box. Okay, ain't I, no I'm, flim flam. I, I'm, I'm sorry. not flim flam. I'm sorry, Coach. I, didn't <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess what I meant, he's a tall guy. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah, a tall, he is a tall he, kid, and Coach. He kinda, and he looked like you when he did that. Okay, so a yeah, pass across yeah. the middle. The catch is made by the Panthers across midfield. Yeah, just, you know, he's a tall yeah, guy. Yeah, this kid, made, he, he's not bad, Coach. He has no. a live arm now. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Why hasn't he been playing the, instead of a uh, pass? I don't know, Coach. It's First down for the Panthers in Jackson State's territory. Conley again running with the football slides down at the Jackson State 35 and he picks up another first down. Yeah, I see coach is putting them ones back in there, coach, that coach at D line. 432 to go. Jackson State 27, PBU 10. I need PBU to keep it at 10 because that's what I said they were going to end up with. <laughs> so it's first down for the Panthers at the Jackson State 35. Conley loses the oh, football. Coach, it just fell out of his ball, hands. Coach. Yeah, that's a it, live ball. It fell out of his hands, but he was able to fall on it. Or did Jackson State players yeah. fall on it, Jamie? I think the Tigers recovered that ball. Yeah, Coach. Well, coach. I could be. I, yeah, Justin Reagan came up with the ball. I, I think pass. It is Jackson State ball. Yeah, it is Jackson State football. football. Yeah, coach. And they're, they're firing off the fire. It's not over yet. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Jackson State ball, first down. Time out. They got the fireworks. They got the fireworks. They got the fireworks. Somebody, yeah, somebody went over there, threw, probably threw a cigarette down and lit the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it looks like Jackson State fans are celebrating just for yeah, so, I mean, I know it looks that, good that, right that, now. With four that, may be, that may be just a shot to say, let's get crunk a little bit, Coach. You think so, Coach? Because they got the party, Coach. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. It did go off at a good time no, when play. he fumbled it and Jackson State recovered and the fireworks went off. Yeah, the fans getting out here, Coach. Yeah, they. The Fairview fans are going to the exits. Yeah, they should have been going, Coach. And this is the time when Jackson State's band play Go Home. Yeah. I don't think they do that with PV. I don't think the robbery is that intense like it is with Alcorn. You know that basketball robbery, Coach? You know how they used to have them keys, shaking them keys? Yeah. <laughs> basketball game. Okay. Well, Coach, you didn't, you didn't go down there and throw a cigarette over there. No, light sir. The fire, no. Light the firecracker, <laughs> did you? Go. Now, the old me probably would have done that. <laughs> now, now, do you keep uh, Let, it Sanders, <laughs> Let It Rip Sanders in the game? Coach? I would go ahead and take him out of that, Coach. Put Kari okay, Lyles yeah, in. Yeah, this one is done. You don't want no cheap, cheap shots. You know, you don't want any of that mess. Yeah. I want to congratulate Shadur for being named the freshman of the year. Also, James Houston for being named the SWAC's newcomer of the year. Warren Newman made the SWAC. He made the SWAC second team? Coach, James Houston should have been on the first team, Coach. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. He, he only led the conference and ranked in the nation in sacks, Coach. Yeah, he did, Coach. Only, though. I don't know what else you have to do. Well, that was a young man from FAMU. Had 19 tackles, uh, 19 sacks. James had 14. But I think but, James been shortchanged. Yeah, but coach, it's, it's two sides. Mm -hmm. You can play on the left and the right side, coach. Yes, yes sir. So evidently, they just must get one per position. <laughs> they didn't do <laughs> left side, right side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, couldn't have, coach. It couldn't have, coach. So I don't know, but who are we? We just the radio announcers who don't know anything. And then uh, Coach Prime, of course, was named the uh, Coach of the Year. And I asked him, you know, how does this rank with, with all of his accomplishments, you know, yeah, for heard, Football heard, Hall of Fame and all of that? And he said it's we. He said it's all of us. Yeah. And, and, and he commended us, Coach. Yeah, he commended our broadcast. He, he said it's the staff. Coach, I wrote that down. Coach. He did. Yeah. He sure did. So, Jamie, what's what's it like down there on the field right now? It's, it's, it's ex pure excitement. It's like a big party down here right now, Rob. But uh, right now, beside me, I also have Miss Yolanda Claymore, who is uh, for the third time this year uh, here for an interview. Yolanda, they just announced 50, over 50,000 fans. Is, how, how do you oh, guys did? feel about that? At the, yes, they did. Richard said 50,000, 128. Uh, tell us about the excitement for the city of Jackson with, with that announcement. 
this has been an exciting time of year for the city of Jackson. Um, we appreciate Jackson State and all that it contributes to the city of Jackson. Now, we are estimated about 40,000. We'll probably have to boost that number once we get the official numbers, but 4.7 million was the estimate. So I know the restaurants and the hotels and, and all those entities are very happy with this uh, new uh, thing for Jackson State, which Coach Prime and the football team having this success also, right? Oh, certainly. I mean, they are ec ecstatic, and we've been booked for two weeks, so that's a the good problem we want to continue to have. Okay, well, I thank you very much. I, like I said before, I know you're a Tougaloo grad, but we appreciate your support. Anything you want to tell Rob J? You was awfully sharp uh, Thursday. Sharp at the back. Oh, 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 really? What he had on? Wait, what, uh, Yolanda? Where did she see? I he was casket clean, though. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, what did you see in there? Casket clean. I'm, I'm, uh, right here on, on campus. Oh, that's right. She sure did. Right. Oh, see, he don't tell us that. I, I forgot about it. Yeah, he, he forgot. Casket <laughs> clean. <laughs> <laughs> you should have took a picture. So JSU has reeled off three plays, three straight running plays as the clock yeah. continues to move. 3.05 to go and counting. It is Shadur Sanders, by the way, remains in at quarterback. Yeah, just let it tick, Coach. Let it tick, Coach. Yep. It's third down now for Jackson State. They have the ball near midfield under three minutes to go. Jackson State looking to punch its ticket into the Celebration Bowl for the first time in school history. This has been a remarkable season. Coach Prime said in the spring, if you're going to get me, get me now. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> in the fall, you ain't going to touch me. Yeah. Shadur will hand it off. Santi Marshall across midfield, and he is close to a first down. He may have it, Coach. He's yeah, right he at the mark. have it, Coach. Yep, he yeah, does. Yeah. i tell you what. Santi Marshall has done a great job in this game today, Coach. Yeah, he, he has, Coach. That might do it that, right that, there. That coach. will do it, Coach. He can't stop the clock but one time, and he he can't. He understands he can't win it, Coach. He's gonna let it tick on out. Wow. Yeah, Sanders is out of the game. Good job. Kari Lyles in the ball game for Jackson State. Talented young man. He's a good young man. Always when I see him, he has a smile on his face. Man. And he asked me. He said, "Why is Alcorn such a big rivalry?" <laughs> So Jackson State keeping it on the ground as they run this clock out with a minute 42 to go. Got a ball way over there. Well, number 47 kicked it. Timeout on injured player. Sean Powell. When I don't take then this yeah. a, a runoff. It probably uh, this a 10 second runoff. Yeah. Oh, he hurt now. It should be a one-minute runoff. <laughs> Timeout. <laughs> Jesse Evans. Oh, Jesse's down on the field. Now he's up. Jesse, hey, come on, man. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. We'll take a break <laughs> while they tend to Jesse. And we'll be back. <laughs> Biscuits are loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and your choice of bacon or sausage. And right now at Wendy's, they're only a buck each. Wendy's breakfast biscuits, just a dollar. So don't take a chance with those other guys. Bet your buck on a better breakfast with Wendy's bacon or sausage egg and cheese biscuit. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Limited time only during breakfast hours. U.S. price of participation may vary. Limited five qualifying items per transaction. Not valid in a combo. Excludes honey butter chicken biscuit. Hi, this is attorney Richard Schwartz. Me and my entire staff are dedicated to helping our Mississippi neighbors get the most money they deserve after a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck. You know the insurance company is not on your side. That's why it's important to get your attorney working for you right away. It's always free to talk to us, so the only thing you got to remember is one call, that's all. Call me, Richard Schwartz, at 601-988-8888. Or visit us online at onecall.ms. Jackson State University football brought to you in part by Porter's Insurance, Team Logic IT, Entergy, Chamless Premier Insurance Services, Watkins Auto Sales, McCullum Physical Therapy, Blackwell Family Foot Care. 
Bolden's Body Shop, the Tiger Fund, Riverbend Tire Company, KLLM Trucking School, and the Blue Bingo Athletic Association. All right, injured timeout uh, for Jesse Evans of PBU. He went into the the purple tent there, Coach. So hopefully Jesse is okay. Yeah, I While hope you were so, sitting there yeah. picking fun at Jesse. I, I actually wasn't picking <laughs> fun, but Jesse, come on, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Jesse is okay. All right, so really? Jackson State about to wrap this up and go to the Celebration Bowl for the first time, and they're hoping that fans don't storm the field because if Jackson State fans do storm the field, they're going to charge the school $100,000. Now, we just had a big fundraiser and raised about that. <laughs> we don't want to get that to, yeah, to get into the NCAA, so. man. Yeah, Coach Lee, look like some of them standing around by the edges too, Coach. Then, Rob, they're going to jail also, and they will have to sit till Monday. They have to go to jail, too? Yes, they will be arrested. One minute, 35 seconds to go. 95 seconds left in the ball game. Kari Lyles in at quarterback for Shadour Sanders here on second down and nine for Jackson State from the Prairie View 43-yard line. The first set of people going to jail, these people in the back of this end zone to the left, Coach. Lyles, six foot, 215 pound quarterback, transfer from Southern Illinois. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I play. see him. That's go. gonna be the first set to go. Yeah, go. I see him getting ready to run out there. I hope they protect Coach Prime because he's really had trouble with his leg. And uh, got yeah. Lyles will hand it off. And he's gonna be caught in the backfield yeah. as he handed it off to his secondary back on the carry is Desmond Moultrie. One more snap, coach, and it's over. We going to, to the big game, coach. 41 seconds to go. The big game is in Atlanta, Georgia, coach. Yeah, coach. Going to the big game where you will be inducted into the Hall of Fame, buddy. On that Friday evening. Wow. This has been a, an amazing football season. It has, coach. It has. As we look back at our predictions, coach, I said undefeated. You said, uh, what did you say, 10? 10. You said 10. I think Jamie said undefeated. Yeah. Yes. Brown said we will win three games. <laughs> Him and Ed we did win three games. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. It is over. It is over. Jackson State wins 27 10. The fireworks go off. Yeah. Coach, coach Prime is being protected as JSU goes to the Celebration Bowl for the first time in school history. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Wow. The flag has been planted in the ground, Coach. <laughs> and coach one of the coaches picked it up because Coach told him, not, must have told him not to plant that flag. <laughs> so no, no one is storming the field. No. Coach, I tell you what, I'm happy for these kids, Coach. It's a, it's a heck of a feeling to win a championship, Coach. I'm very excited for those kids. Wow. Jamie, your thoughts? I'm, I'm just... I mean, I know we were going to be a good football team, but I think we exceeded our expectations, and I'm just, I'm just happy. And I'm sure you guys are too, and everybody down here is happy. It's like a big party right now, and uh, you got to give the coach Prime and his staff for bringing key players in here, key positions to uh, really put this team over. You know, I think we had some talent the last past few years, but he just put everything together. And congratulations to Coach Prime for putting this team together, man. You know, we had some people saying that they were they were not jail. They would not, you know, come together. Yeah. He did the hard part, Coach, and that was got them to jail and come together, man, because it's tough when you bring so many transfers in to get those different attitudes and personalities on the same page, man. And his staff did a great job, Coach. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, as we wait for the – Coach Prime, and I think he's talking to ESPN right now. See if we can kind of ease, drop, and ear hustle. <laughs> okay. He's talking to ESPN right now. But, Coach, what is Marcus Jones doing down there on the field with a cell phone? So Jackson State heads to the Celebration Bowl. They'll face 
South Carolina State coach in the early prediction, uh, not just prediction, but your early analysis of South Carolina State. I really hadn't seen much of them this season. Haven't seen much of them, Coach. You know, um, Coach Pugh down there at South Carolina State is, you know, he's been there a while. He's one of those legends on that side of the East Coast. And, and you know, he's, he usually has a good sound program. And, um, he hasn't been in a championship game for a long time because he's been North Carolina NT. But again, the way this football team is playing defensively, coach, it probably doesn't matter who it may be, who it's against. Should do it now being inter interviewed by ESPN. We'll see if we can get Neely to talk with Coach Prime. This has been great for a Jackson State fan, for Jackson State fans everywhere to see this team win 11 games for the first time in school history. Coach, uh, Coach uh, Prime has come in here. A lot of people thought he couldn't coach. You know, he was with this um, private high school as an offensive coordinator, and they lost the MRA, and they were like, y'all got he, he can't coach, he can't coach. And he's led Jackson State to the SWAC title and a berth in the Celebration Bowl. He's going to honor the uh, Sonny Boom as they play the school song, and we'll take a break and come back again. Jackson State wins 27-10. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. All right, let's go back down on the field with Jamie Horton and Coach Prime as he prepares to pick up the trophy for winning the SWAC yes, here with this 27-10 win over Prairie View. By the way, it's the third straight win for the Tigers over the Panthers in the series. Now let's check in and see what we can get. Okay. Okay, so Coach Prime just scooted right past Neely. <laughs> Coach, <laughs> they're going to announce the game MVP. Uh, who would who would you uh, choose, Coach, Coach, if it were you? Well, defensively, I would say Keontae Hampton. He's been all over the field. I know Houston made a big play, but Keontae Hampton, Coach, going out his senior year, he made some tremendous play early in the game, Coach. And then when you go to the offensive side of the football, Coach, uh, you know, it's um, we really struggled offensively, but just to hold this thing together, um, I would say Sante Marshall, Coach, he came in and ran the football well. Absolutely. So Coach Prime is – about to be honored as Jackson State will get the big SWAC championship trophy. Uh, I have to say James Houston, Coach, because Houston, he had a couple of sacks. He got that interception for a touchdown. And he did. Uh, yeah, I would. I mean, Keontae, not, not taking anything from Keontae, but I would, I would give it to uh, James Houston. But but you're right, Coach. You you know more about this than I do. Right. And, and you, I've you never, you, never read nothing as Brown, nothing else. When you when you have it's it's just tough between those two guys, man. And All right, we'll go down on the field for the ceremony. 
SWAT Commissioner Dr. Charles McClellan is down there. Jackson State President Thomas Hudson also on the field. Jackson State Athletic Director Ashley Robinson along with Elise Wells Kilbert also on the field for this celebration. Neely is down there as well. <laughs> We'll listen in. A swarm of people down on the field as well. Yeah, that's a bunch of people. Okay. All right, Dr. McClellan is about to make the announcement that Jackson State is the SWAC champs. Dennis Driscoll down on the field, looking like he's looking for something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dr. McClellan presenting the trophy to Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. In his first year as a head coach, Coach, he oh, yeah, wins the swag. Yeah, heck of a accomplishment, man. I mean, he delivered what he said he was going to do. He certainly did. He made a believer out of a lot of people. Jackson State with the Swag championship. Well, we hadn't seen this in a long time, Coach. Yeah. The coach is trying to speak to the fans here. They're trying, they're trying to get his mic to work. Coach is making a speech, and James is, comes in, gets in the way, in the middle of what he's now talking about. The Pepsi Zero Sugar Most Outstanding Player of today's game, presented by Chauncey Hamlet, Chief Marketing Officer of the Pepsi Beverages North American Southern Division, and Commissioner Dr. Charles McClellan, the offensive and most valuable player, number 22, Peyton Pickett. Ooh. Peyton Pickett yeah. was named the most valuable player of he today's game. Hard too, coach. He certainly did, Coach. Yeah. He, did. he also scored a touchdown in this ball game. So Peyton Pickett, coach, named the most valuable player, and I know that has to make him feel good. Coach. Yeah, he had. It's been a, a long season for him, coach. And, uh, he did well. Well, coach, Jackson State wins. So uh, we're just having a little trouble uh, getting the audio from down on the field. So um, we want to keep it here. See if uh, Neely can get Coach Brian. And I was on the 
Okay, we'll just try to keep it here for a second. Okay, because if I'm spotting Neely right now, he's been pushed he back a little bit. He's pushed out the circle. <laughs> Where's James? Where is James? <laughs> There's a big crowd of people surrounding Coach Prime and the announcement. Commissioner down on the field. They're taking pictures now. As we are trying to get to Coach Prime to see or to hear what he has to say about this. Yeah, I don't even see him. Coach, I don't see how you see Neely and James. Yeah, well, I see. Yeah, that goes Jamie. Here is Neely. Here is Neely. Here. <laughs> Jackson State wins 27 to 10. You know, when you look at the predictions, though, Coach, uh, we all came close. I know you thought it would be a shootout yeah, with PBU. I, yeah, I, and, and it was because, of, you know, Coach Dooley has a good offensive mind, but you know the old saying held true today. Offense sell ticket, and defense wins championships. But Absolutely. And that's what happened today. Man. Big time win, Coach. Big time win. Coach Prime and his staff did an excellent job in building this program, man. I'm, I'm elated and just... And Tony Gray has emerged out of the locker room, and he's on the field celebrating as well. Yeah, he needs to be back in the locker room, Coach. Yeah, I don't, I mean, he he could he could have really cost this team, man. Yeah, he's so. got to cool off. He's got to cool down and settle down. Yeah, he, needs, he has to cool off, Coach. And that's one of the ones where you you sit down and you have a, a, a meet, a parent meet, Coach. Because he's a good young man. But he needs to really calm down, Coach. And he's a talented young man. Again, President Hudson in the circle. As Coach Prime is now scooting away from the circle, and we'll see if uh, Neely can get to him before he goes into the locker room. He hugs his mom. I think that's his mom that's, that's down there, man. And again, Coach Prime faced some real serious medical issues. And, for him to come back and lead this team to a swag title has been remarkable. He's right behind Dennis Driscoll, who's in the way. In the way. In the way. In the way, Driscoll. So I don't see Neely. I don't know if he's going to try to get him. Uh, okay, there he is. He's right there. Let's see if he can talk with him. Coach is trying to scoot away. Neely can't catch him. He ain't trying to catch him, Coach. No. Uh, he's, he's got entourage, so I don't think he's going to catch Coach Prime. Well, he's talk, Coach Prime is now talking to some members of the Prairie View football team. So let's see. That's number one. He's talking to Dumas. All right. I guess we will not hear from Coach Prime directly. So, again, Jackson State, your winner. Up next, the Tigers will travel to Atlanta, Georgia, their coach, to play in the Celebration Bowl. Okay, he's being led away into the locker room. Yeah. And Neely is right behind him. If this was a race, Neely would come in dead last. Yeah. Neely. Neely right. not trying to get that coach. Yeah, yeah Neely. <laughs> All right. But again, we thank Neely for everything this season. 